the fact that oh yes my boy yes my boy just like an idea Oh no, Super Mario Brothers is the number one animated movie of the year so far. I mean, it doesn't really have any competition, but... Mm. I mean, by the second fucking tired of this walk, this walk message, I'm sorry. Like, for those of you who have a problem with that, you're not truly woke if you really believe the rubbish that's been put in front of you. Being woke means you're aware of what's going on. It's not a, a badge of honor for you to get up and cuss <laughs> and rave and go and upset because, you know, this person is not listening to you. So, yeah, I believe, oh, I'm glad to figure you said this, but, but white women took the woke thing because originally, you know, the woke thing was a black thing first. And then, it somehow found a way to white women and now everybody's super offended and everybody is telling me what or how I like, I, like I'm not a sentient not, being. Yeah, that's um, kind of how narcissism works. Not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, and I'm do like... Thing, do the same thing with the racism, sexism, or anything. Mm-hmm. People use homophobia, transphobia, they manipulate it and then just let people start using I mean, it. I mean, true. I mean, I'm gonna tell somebody this one, and the person don't deal with me. I'm gonna say, um, I believe, um, narcissism, egoism, the whole, the whole list and power, whatever them, but some of them come from egocentricity. Egocentricity. I'm like, what do you mean by that? I say, almost all of them problem here. The one we are discussed. It's based on something that an entire country, an entire Western hemisphere is suffering from. So that out loud, you're, you're being mad disrespectful. I'm like, how is that how is that mad disrespectful if it's true? Mr. Right now, you know, he's trying to get this man up. We keep trying to get that up a little, right? I repeat that one again, my boss. Yeah, repeat that one. Eh? I'm not sure if you realize it, but if the channel actually blows up, you might be assassinated. Mm. I hear that. But that makes too much sense. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that one too. Well, well we're, in a day, we're, well, we're in a day and age now where based on the movie you now, it should have been a, it should have, it should have, it should have gotten the, the sore love and thunder treatment. Because that's where they were aiming for it. Anybody who to watch um, Thor, Love and Thunder? How do you forget no. how, Thor, how Thor could even fly? Won't, won't watch it. Thor, Thor literally, okay. Thor literally became the blonde, the blonde, um, you know the stereotype, the dumb blonde. Literally, the god of thunder. Forget everything, and this woman, gotcha. and this woman who the first time wielding gotcha. the power of the damn Thor. Yo, gotcha. yeah. that's not the problem with the movie. So I'm just saying. Uh, I was just saying. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, est- we have mm-hmm. we established that well, Anna, we established that the hammer was disintegrated in a sense. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. So I'm supposed to believe uh, that this basic earth bitch, pardon my French, this basic earth bitch, right? Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to believe mm-hmm. that she has the power to recreate the strongest mm-hmm. weapon known to anybody in the oh world, in the universe. Oh my god. So basically, we are trying to want Captain Marvel 2.0, but even worse. Pass it a second. People try to understand how difficult it was for the original creators. You know what made it so pissy for me to break I know, but when the hammer is being created, but we understand that, you know. When Mule was being created, it literally wiped out the dinosaurs. That's how powerful 
the fortune of that hammer was. Most yeah, people don't know that. Yeah, but yeah. you know the thing that that, that kind of pissed me off about it, because mm -hmm. I'm looking at it from this perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So we just go gloss over the fact, say, oh, this girl broke up with this man by the second movie, right? Of course, this yes. man for literally saving not only her life but the life of everybody upon earth. So it's a good idea to let her have the power of Mulnir. Why couldn't he get a new girlfriend? Yeah, but he didn't. That's the whole point. People need to understand something, you know. We're talking about a story that the father of gods, Odin, but again, this is the comic book material, but he did not like Jane Foster. Not even a little. No, no. Because she's human. No, it was no, because she no, was whatever. No, no. It wasn't only that, she was basic. She was fucking basic. True. True. No offense. For those of you who are going to catch fire, and <gasps> like you're going to get, no, sir, she really was a basic bitch. I'm sorry. No, and, and all right, all right, all right, all right. Let us say this because my understand that you, we, are, well, me on this panel, I have a reputation apparently that I, apparently I hate women, according to some of my friends. Uh, I just, there's nothing wrong with being basic. But when you're basic and then you're a narcissistic person on top of it, it's not a good look. Yeah. And when I, I agree look, upon when that I one. when I say that she is literal them try literally for make a Captain Marvel 2.0, yeah, they made it even worse. No what yo, literally, I don't think there's a single person that watches Marvel movies or reads the comics that likes Captain Marvel. And this is not just from no. This is from the comic book years. Well, I know. You know, this is more. People who have never watched through the shows, uh, people who have never watched cartoons, when they came into um, an arena that they have no knowledge about, but then I tell people, say, this is the direction of which your comic book, your legacy, your history, your childhood, this is what we're going to do with it. To the point on that Spider-Man is now a, a, a cook, a cook. Spider-Man is now a cock, people, a cook, whatever the fuck I'm pronouncing. That shit cuts me like blades. Look at that, eh? Look at that, eh? And even Spider-Man couldn't get away from it. And this guy has been saving the world long before I mean, we finish college, just don't get pussy. But then, then she was fired up and we so many different women. Later, I turned into a bitch. Now, we have the one who wants to be a bitch. That's what we tell him. You know that, right? That was the whole truth of everything. Pete and MJ were better apart than together. So, Walk I mean, I mean that's kind of debatable, but I mean, continue. Yeah. I mean, it all depends on how the writers go about it, to be honest. But you know, you know I don't know what is this fetish with making love triangles in the Spider-Man universe. I guess they're trying to go for the poly polygamy angle, and it's not working, as per usual. Anderson, so you know. It's not right now. It's moved from from entertaining people, just being forced, just forced, just forcing their bullshit message down people. Through. It's no longer. It's not. It's no longer entertaining. Okay. You talk. Well, that is. Before we get any further off track, you were uh, mm -hmm. saying about the um Super Mario movie. Yeah, wait, it come out already, right? Yeah, man. Right. I've heard. I don't think. Well, I don't. I I thought it would have messed up back now, but I, I guess they have done something right. But you had mentioned that they tried to put in like some little nuances of the word message. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I mean, I haven't seen it for myself yet, but I suppose I will, considering all the reviews I've seen so far. But I know one movie I did. One movie I did. Okay. There were elements in that movie where I remember like an idiot. On purpose. All the others going to the movie to make sure it's done. Mishimoto from Nintendo had come by all the way from half cross. Half cross the world just to tell all the world. No. And oh. Yeah, come around that front. Sat down. Dr. Kaza, no travel half across the world. Just to tell Hollywood, oh, no. Charlie. Mario is going to be oh, the, the head of the scrap. And Hollywood lost its mind. The only one Hollywood went to list it. Yes, how dear the, how dear the creator of his own, own characters dare have a say in, in how it's supposed to be portrayed. But I guess this is the society we've chosen. I don't know the choice is. Can you imagine can't find this nonsense. Hold on. Yo, it's so ironic. Every episode we always have my channel keep living in my background. <laughs> Well, so just live, gents. With a GOT, you would have still been running it more epic. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, i well, but isn't the movie well, isn't the movie already out? So them what them still are complaining because they didn't get what they wanted from it. They're complaining because it did too well. It did too well. People my age. I forgot we lived in the age where if a movie does oh, well, oh, that how dare how dare you to do a good movie? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, and them, 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 them cost everybody who go watch it. It cost everybody people who go watch it. Oh, just them like all, just like all the whole um the whole agenda them agenda against mm -hmm. um J.K. Rowling. Like, yeah, man, it's no sense. Like if you really, like, if you really stop for really, you use like one percent of your brain that you were given to use. You really just look for it and say, okay, so even if that's true. How is this affecting the game that these people work their asses out to create? Because it's not about the game. It's all about the psycho. Like, uh, I, I, I feel like I feel like I understand the whole thing. It's a kind of movie scene that has started in court. Done. I'm going to get a watch. Completely. And yet still all of a sudden. We are pulling straws at what is right and what is wrong. Uh, fantasy, so. All right, no problem. But let me say, gents, the, um, the agenda has gone so far that people need not pay attention. People need not pay attention while going no more. Like now that now that Nintendo has shown that even the great company of Marvel said, "One is not that no more." Because Nintendo did Marvel numbers when, when the MCU just come out. And this was just a welcome to the movie universe yep. movie. You understand me? So well, people yeah. never understand how bad, how starved society is for entertainment. We're a, we're a kids movie. I make up more, I make up um again, Avengers numbers, yeah? Yeah, but so the, the thing is, Bradshaw, I mean, I know a lot mm -hmm. of people's feathers are going to be ruffled by this, but, mm. you know, if you really get to the popularity of Avengers, it's not really that hard, if you really think about it, because 
let's take a stock oh. of all the Marvel movies that are actually well received. You know what mm-hmm. every them hours are draw for the Avengers movies only. Mm-hmm. And probably you're squeezing a little Black Panther there, Ant Man there. Probably a one and two Iron Moon Man movie, but the most oh, talked the about is always the, the Marvel. Oh, all right. well, I mean, all right. <clears throat> well, may I be honest with you? When Marvel just come out, they were doing actual story writing. This no, is why hey, all the movies. Do, one, that's why all the movies. I don't. That's why all the movies eventually they started to link in. And every time they move from far, from Thor, the Tesseract, and the list of stones. It was actually being done correctly. It was leading into Infinity War. Yeah, and I know this. Well, group, I know this is what we're talking about. Mm. But the thing, but it's the thing I always remind people of. And as much as I don't like what the series has become now, Fast and Furious been a do this shit for a while now. Yeah. Even when the movie makes no sense, the money I make money like there's no tomorrow. Because everybody I mean, loves an underdog story, dog. Nobody yeah. likes nobody likes a Mary Sue. Nobody likes nobody likes that nigga who can't who can't die. That's why Steven Stagall movies weren't all that famous in the Caribbean or for most most of the Western hemisphere. This man was too perfect. Steven Stagall just an example. Steven Stagall did just have no idea. Like, yo, you could yo, you could have seen the ego in that man the movie them. The man, <laughs> what man? Can you imagine watching a whole movie with a nigga that doesn't get hit? Yo, even yes. the greatest badasses of the generation get hit. This man refused to get hit in his own movie. Movie oh, with a four star in him. Well, I know. Michael Jai White. So him and Steven Seagal are a movie one time. And the man say, him watch. Michael Jai White watch Steven Seagal push an innocent son man head through a, through a wall. Or to a glass and, and damage the man. I say, Michael Jai White tell him, Bridge, if he tells them, if he, if he ask Steven Seagal where he's up to. Because if he put him on, pan him toward the snow, say, Michael, I'll lick him back. And then Steve really think before him, before him answer the man who Michael sent for him. And he realized that this man is a legitimate martial artist. You know, Steven Seagal, though? Watch himself. Watch himself because I realize that, yeah, if him fuck around, he would have found out. That is and it. for those of and for you and for you idiots who think Michael Jai White is a is a is a fraud. No, he's not. He's a legitimate. You need to be honest, man like John Jones or no one on. What I said to you? Eh? What is it? When man a like professional UFC fighter do one on from a Michael Jai White to the point man master striking that. And I won't lie, he knows what he's doing. The man who's been a, a black belt for, for more than 10 years. The motion, them, the, 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 the position, the drills, they're all karate based. No way, man, say, can him video them a lie, my tell. Because the same thing he's doing, the same thing my master teach him, though. So, again, he's a legitimate martial artist. And from a man who trains for great people, he knows what he's doing. So, again, Imam, Imam, he's not one of them Hollywood fake black belts. So, oh my God, yeah, he's acting, but he's not fake. Joe Rogan, my boy, um, Boyka, give him respect. So, again, what? And the two men and him are two legitimate martial artists. So, again, what are you trying to say? Have you ever heard Joe Rogan talk praise about Michael Jai White? So, mm-hmm. yeah, we we missed around, he was going to find out, and I respect that message there. Now, because a man in a bad position means he have to take advantage of him, Rasta. That's that, that right. That is why Keanu Reeves will always be number one. Mm, yeah, man, good you, that man. Good you, that man. My heart a go. Not like that, not like some of them scumbag in Hollywood where you get you know, corrupted. But anywho, um egocentricity again when you believe everybody and everything around you work for you, not you work for them. Hmm. That's one of the major problem in Hollywood and people not see it. And it's tied into like like Dario said, narcissism. 
on a very big level. And people can't see past that. You can't see past the ego. And then Hollywood reach a point where if you're there for there for question. If you dare to question the work, you are judged, you are ridiculed, and you are shamed. I mean, or these are I mean these question. are the, these are the same people who were defending Amber Heard even when it was clear that she was a piece of trash. Oh so. my god. So we can't really be be well, I mean, these are the same people who were bowing to Mr. Um Mr. Will Smith after him slapped the taste out of Chris Rock's uh, mouth. So I mean, mm -hmm. we can't really be surprised by the sleazes of Hollywood. This has been years and ongoing. And it's not supposed to get people better like because Hollywood has made itself be known to be the centralized figurehead for what's that term I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not negativity. It's a word for it. I'll find it eventually. Uh -huh. The point remains. Great. Uh -huh. That's a good thing. Come on. Give me a second, the retro. Yeah, man, do you think, man? We will oh. continue until they reach one point. So, um, yes, this has spun incredibly out of control. Now, now, everything on social media and its mama is going out of them way to paint, to paint um, the Super Mario Brothers movie as a disappointment because they did not fully utilize Princess Peach, and I'm like, what kind of fuck are you not talk about? This was not her movie, by the way. Peach over the years has become quite independent. Crying out loud, they made her own games. Not game, games. Princess Peach has her own games. But yet, you don't get them want to propagate this thing say, oh, she's so helpless. Oh, poor, poor Peach. Poor bitch. And I'm like, yo, seriously, why do y'all do this? Why the price in the minds of all of the innocent people and Pitney make it seem like, say, oh, Nintendo is just this misogynistic rap. Not only has Princess Peach had her own game, them go as far as adding her, her, her um her prince um, her princess attendant Daisy, them add Daisy in the game them with her. Not only does does Peach have her own game, she has her own sidekick too. She has her own sidekick like Mario. I'm like, they've been they've been games where Mario and Luigi have been captured by Bowser. Peach have to save the two of them. Not just Mario, both of them. And she was the one to the rescue with her um, parasail and, 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 and um, you know, her royal fanny. Because she boxed it with that, if you don't know what you're doing. When I play so much, you'll all understand why I'm so upset. But, <laughs> anywho, yeah, then, so the fact that uh, Hollywood still a push to outdated mindset say men just want this woman for just sex and clean house and not give not the trouble and uh, I'm like I'm and I think I've said this already on this podcast before. We say I believe if men had got exactly what they asked for the woman, they would still cheat. Somebody was shocked like why would you do that? We say because Perfection is boring. It is. Whether you want to admit it or not. And for those of you who don't have enough common sense to realize why perfection is here seen boring or something that most people will 
eventually shy away from, there's no room for improvement. There's none. You're perfect. If you are so perfect, and nobody can tell us you're wrong, Rasta, how do you know that you are doing wrong? Because I'm say, even if a man got the perfect woman, eventually he will cheat on her too. I believe it or not. As men, we are wired to fix problems. This one is perfect. Tell me, like, no problems. Food cook, sex ready whenever you're ready. You don't hear from the children, them. Them well behaved. They know them place. They know who you are. She knows who you are. You understand the dynamic is being educated in them and all that. It's going to be like sensory overload. I'm saying some of some people, oh, oh, you're only saying that. Oh, you're only saying that. If you ever get a girl that's obedient and rain, 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 you'd never let her go on like. But I'm the first one who's telling you it would happen. So it's not like I haven't thought about this. Hollywood, Hollywood has lost that sense when it comes to thinking the long, the long, thinking the long game, you know. The Mary Sue, the Mary Sue archetype can only live for so long. The Mary Sue archetype can only live for so long. That night itself is a problem. Nobody knows how acknowledge. True. And it leaves it leaves whoever's pushing this exposed because nobody. Nobody wants this. And I would say that confidently, with no, with no care to who, who for feelings it might hurt. Nobody in the real world is asking for some trumped up, unrealistic woman. And I mean this because men, I, I mean, check the numbers. Men and women, we, we cannot tell who watches movies from who don't watch movies. Majority of action movies are normally pushed by men. The main, the main demographic of moviegoers, when it comes to action and suspense and so forth, it's normally men. It's not women. But society would want you to believe that women care just as much as men about the entertainment industry when they really go. And again, I'm not saying these words to be mean. I'm not saying these to get a rise out of anybody. I'm just speaking back imperial facts, imperial evidence. And again, I hear when I hear when this argument is brought forth, I always feel like you're picking when on a group. Are you, are you trying to be mean? Are you trying to be nasty? But you're only trying to be honest. And this is the problem lie. <laughs> being on the people somehow, somehow invalidates their feelings or how them look on life or and I find that ridiculous because perfection is only in the eyes of the beholden. There is no such thing as perfect. So I'm so the God alone perfect. Man, that's why that old trope has been always been pushed. Because when people start really believe this show, it does breathe for breed, breed and bring forth narcissism. Nobody can tell you wrong. Nobody is supposed to tell you wrong. Hollywood has reached to me that glass ceiling where if the movie stops, you blame the fans. Never seen really to that shit. A movie sucks, you blame the fans. Not the director, not the writing, not the production company, no. You blame the fans for not liking what you produce. That is crazy to me. That's a narcissistic thing. I'm not thinking. only have you lost a goddamn mind, now you're trying to blame the buyer for not wanting a crappy product. They are cost the buyer for not want for your produce. That's the, that shit don't make no sense. Not, 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 not,
initial question. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing that is so turn off? You know, turn off in, unless that's another real word, but it turns off my fans so long or so hard. And no matter how much your fans tell you, ignore, keep writing terrible movies, keep making terrible jokes. And I realize half of those who said them are right, comedy. Is anybody check if these females even know how to tell a joke? That myself is a problem. Who go write write a comedy, a comedy movie, but you never told a joke in your entire life? But then you're going to write a bullshit movie and then cost me off. Okay. That you wrote. But again, me ask you a question. A bunch of white people writing on um, a black movie. People, for example, is a perfect example. Living single. Did you know that majority of those jokes were not written by black people? Yeah. And for those people out there who are such huge friends fans, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Say that again. Majority of the jokes for living singles, a 90s um, sitcom mm -hmm. for black people living together in New York City by themselves mm -hmm. was written. Most of the jokes were written by white people, not black. Yeah. And they kind of. Black explain, well. I mean, by, by the way, um, I mean, I don't like really after after that whole week where people went up. Ask yo, why were there no black people and friends? And I just gave the most sensible answer because it's about a group of white friends. There you go. Like, like, but generally have to ask the person like, why everything have to be about race? We say yo, do you people feed off negative energy? Because you know, are you a, me, yo? At one point, me feel uh, my brother now ask. I wonder if she's a Decepticon. Mr. Blood Cloud, there we go. Well, um, the guy, Ross, from Living Single, um, from um, Friends, he was like, oh, he's always talking about, why don't they have black people on the show? You know, he's okay with dating black people. He likes black people. And I'm like, bruh, stop your noise, bruh. Stop talking, bruh. Why are, you, why are you trying to defend a point that you have no place defending? Why? Your show started, and we're the same people for more and more information. Living singles and friends were on the same studio floor, pretty much. They were both on in the same studio. So while while living singles was being shot, someone was simply taking the the, the story of living single and a simple tweak in it. So you're watching a white living single. The rest of them don't realize that. Same mm -hmm. promiscuous. Same lame ass jokes, same as desperation, same uh, same thing, anxiety. Though. The all different all thing is I don't think living singles they push like like and then again take this for example, people. In living symbol, living singles, not one of them got married. But in friends, listen, people, but in friends, two out of the initial three girls got married. Living singles, not one of the black girl them. And how much? One, two, three, four black girls. Two black men. And none of the girl them got married. None of the girl them were stuck in a serious, are stuck in a serious relationship. And this is from the 90s. So, upon friends, yes, they were hooking up. But eventually, marriage came into the conversation. Living singles... They were literally living single. So again, for you jackasses and geniuses that don't believe, say, the mm. culture that has been propagated from black people and every other race, where white man evil, black man good. Can't we just get along? I wish. But society is socially constructing people to hate one another. I'm supposed I, to I, hear. I, 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 I
Я ее сакам и яма. Йо, йо, сто, йо, йо, сто. Я не люблю на овас дем. Дем я бути кало вот. These are the cheek slaying hours, my boy. Remember that. Cheek slaying hours. Not used to them something. Man. Oh. I remember the cheek slaying hours. Good times. Good times. But you had to literally decide if you're going to. Is it worth investing your money and energy to get some possible coaching not nah. not probable possible oh my god eh. ah the struggles the memory eh. but yeah um society does not want to see men and women especially in the black community, and I'm going to say this, this is not based on race, this is based on observation. Again, living singles was from way back in the 90s, and you realize from living single series, every other black series that come after that, there's no marriage. Shit. There's no self-respect, you know, some of them. And this has yeah, been, normalized. been normalized to the point now where you know, the culture talking about marriage seems weird. Maleficy people say, oh, 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 just because them say marriage is the right way means don't mean that it's it's the right way for everyone. I'm like, well, it's the right way to raise children. Yeah, it's the right way how to bring up the next generation to not be fuck ups like us or the generation that raised us. That's the whole point of having children. You're supposed yeah, to learn. Even the serious girlfriends. Huh? Even the serious girlfriends, if you watched it. Oh, Mr. Kwa, yo, that shit is toxic. From what I remember, yeah. It, yo, that, that show is toxic as hell. It, it promotes mm -hmm. all of them. Got married also got divorced. All of them. Every last one. And, and again, people. For you, for you people out there who always say, oh, oh, it's just natural selection make women don't like limbs or smart guys. Watch girlfriend. That man is the epiphany of what every woman, quote unquote, would have want. As them said, them want six foot, six in, well, more than six. And he has a college level intellect. The man is an attorney. The man is a business owner. No offense, someone was from watching that shit. You seem like him can't fuck too. Uh, out of all of the women them where he ever sleep with, there's only one of them tear him down. Say, oh, there's a kind of a big dick don't mean say no how to use it. Well, can I understand that. It's, it's quite possible if you're a man blessed and don't know to do the blessing, Rasta. So I have to agree upon now to an extent. To an extent. On a one day. I believe that not some man does look at them blessed with, with big packages. Then believe say, you know, I she for the most of the work. But no go so. You think they've arrived? By the way, I want and for you gentlemen who have girlfriends and wives, men in general, or women who have the energy, are willing to challenge themselves. There's a new challenge that's going around where men are now telling their ladies the one them who Love, critique and criticize and oh, oh, you're not doing this for me or why don't you do this for me or oh, you only can do this amount at time. The trend is now the, the men put them, the women on the bed or whichever position them choose and them start time them. Most of the women them start ball before them reach a minute. Gentlemen, 2023, don't take no abuse from no woman. If she can't go more than five minutes, she not supposed to criticize for the five minutes. No offense. Just saying. <laughs> if your ass can't go more than five minutes of stroke in your bitch and a moon. So can you imagine when I'm on a whole lot of stroke for people? 
Have you ever counted how many strokes a man have for doing how many? I mean, I'm, I know I'm weird for saying this out loud, but I've been married long enough for fucking ask this question. So for those of you who have a problem, kiss my black ass. But it, it's always crossed my path, you know, my, my, my chain of thought. Have you ever, I mean, I'm not even saying yes, yeah. stroke. Hard. I mean, here is a, here is a hole, um, it's a hole, the stroke. I know. Not too fast, not too slow. Know. You know you've done hundreds of strokes within a minute? Hundreds. One minute. Oh, my God. I'm like, yo, and women are bitching. I'm like, yo, you know how hard this shit is? You know? yeah, I mean, hundreds of strokes within minutes and not popping. While, me, I'm, while I'm supposed to be unloading all of this within quote unquote science say the, the the best amount of time to have sex is like 20 minutes. So yes, for you ladies out there who believe that man fear go hour, no offense. Mm. I mean, you might have to check something out before you continue with that statement there, Rasta. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna have, much of, have a happy love life, Rasta. Especially when the man start age. God go with you. Because men are workhorses, yeah? <clears throat> and for those of you people who don't think about this, men are the natural workhorses of the world. We are designed to work till the day we die. You hear me? <laughs> we are designed to work till the day we die. That's the whole, the whole trope of work, work yourself into an early grave. We come from men. Work yourself into an early grave. That's a stereotype, but right. mm -hmm. don't just die. Stay at work yeah. for an extra hour. Do some overtime. Be a man. Stay up on the side. Stay up on the side. I made that drop and land in your head and kill you. Yeah. Stay in as. Don't question the boss about safety regulations. No. Just show up, work, and if you slip and pop your ass, get up. Stretch if you can, or go rest it and come back to work tomorrow. Yeah, I, I've met women who get a cold, or the weather change and not go work. <laughs> yeah, man, I normally think that way. I say, man, tell me, I say, oh, the whole year, I can't count how much I'm I've been sick on one hand. Like, really? I'm like, yeah, I can count how many times on one hand I've been sick all year. Can you do the same? Uh, no. There you go. But I know we're gone all over the universe. But I will say this. I hope Hollywood takes a, a lesson from this. That it's not about you. It's not about your ideology. Because let's be realistic here, people. Marvel have money. Marvel have money to Marvel allow in the comic books to be destroyed by just like the movie them. So again, like some Marvel broke. Marvel have money. Marvel more than capable of, of hiring good writers and make good stories. But this ideology has to be promoted. Because like I said to most people before, I believe there's an agenda that's not being said. There's an agenda that's being that's being repurposing, being repurposed to make it seem like this is for people. There's no such thing. I've yet to hear any girl, any girl from me know myself from me up here, talk about the Mulan movie. I barely hear a woman talk about Captain America. I mean Captain Marvel. They don't even watch the shit with them. I tell people, so we forgot to watch. Yeah. Watch Columbia. And, 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 and it's super fine to me because I'm telling you about this movie. I'm telling you. Not like say, oh, you weren't communicating. Me, I tell him I like it. But yet you're still pushing it. 
I'm telling you that this is this is hurting you. Not me, this is hurting you and our relationship. You say screw it. It's your life. It's your money. To hell if I don't like it. Okay. And when your profits don't reflect, you turn around and blame me. Somehow this makes sense to Hollywood. There's an old saying, you know, them say, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Most men live a very unhappy life. Movies was the encouragement, the incentives to a man to look upon a movie and reflect on what he was going through. And contrary to most people's belief system, we all have a story. It might not be in the same language. It might not be the same setup. But contrary to what people may or may not believe, we are more alike than we are different people. Worldwide on a global scale, not just black people. I've sat down and I've, how do I say interview? I would say conversate, but it always feel like an interview because as it first start of like a simple conversation before, you know, me, I learn people life and backstory and them hurts and pains. And I'm like, yo, but I mean, I didn't even ask you all of this, but here we are. And what, what I've learned, everybody has a story. Everybody has a story, man and woman. You understand me? And I know most of the time we talk in generalities and I get that. Sometimes when you sit down and listen to people's stories, you're like, wow, you've really been through some shit. And then on, on the other hand, you'll hear certain people's stories and you're like, why were you in that shit again? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because the misconception is that everybody's a victim. <laughs> no. Some people actually walk into that shit head first. Well, I wear self fucker them a them a walk into. Hollywood know if you have facts and nobody don't want them walkies. Them walk. I mean the numbers prove it. Somebody in Hollywood can say, "Oh, we did not know bullshit." They know dollars and cents. Yeah, that much for certain. Hollywood and Disney know dollars and cents. Disney has lost over 30, 30% 30 of their, 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 um, their profit margins since, you know, since I went woke. That's the term, go woke, go broke. Get woke, go broke. It hasn't changed. Disney, Marvel, DC. Whole, right now, DC is launching its own game now. This is how bad it's gotten. DC has, no, well, let me, let me rephrase that. DC is now launching its own um, card game, digital card game, because Marvel have to hold on to something for make money. So they're using legacy characters to make money. That's about it. Right now, Marvel don't even know shit for if they dictate anything no more. That's why they might use them because like there's a game called Marvel Strike Force and Marvel um, Marvel Snap. I recommend Snap for anybody who like like the the comics because of clash about, about heroes and villains and they all have effects and what well, of cool stuff. But again, that that's that this is not what that that is not what this is about. I must say, Mario. And by the way, when I'm just here, it's not just to praise Mario. I'm also here to take jobs at Mario. Yes, people, it was a decent movie. But at the same time, it was somewhat an art. Uh, Mario remind me of Dragon Ball Z when it just came out. There was no goddamn story. Uh, if there was a story, it was a barely a story. But we were more infatuated with the key blasts and the the punch and kick and you know. We were more infatuated with the fights than the actual story. Mario is literally riding on the box and the memories of the parents more than the kid, more than their actual quote-unquote target demographic. 
most kids nowadays don't know what a blue shell is. Most kids don't know what um a Cooper is. Most people don't know. Most of the, 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 the mushroom Mario Kingdom story. They don't even know. Most of them don't know this thing. And by the way, they did plug that same bullshit that they did in um in um Infinity Infinite Wars where Tony Stark and um Thor were having daddy issues. So they plugged some of that in Mario too. Donkey Kong and Mario had a moment where they were doing all of this just to impress their fathers. And before they read, and I'm like, whoa, this is kind of woke, but this is kind of intriguing because. You know, for years you, you thought Mario and Donkey Kong just lived them life and never have no no incentive or no no they really have nothing uh push the nar push why them do what them do. But now this movie, so yes, it was because they're my fathers and I try to impress them dads and I'm like Okay, that's relatable. And then just kill that and then just move on. And I'm like, whoa. Why would you leave such a wicked cliffhanger all the way up to the year? You know, damn well, people actually want to hear about this stuff. Why would you do that? No explanation. Even now. Even after the movie, gone through and it's on its way to a billion dollars. Billion with a B. Yeah, man. And I find it sad that there are people out there that are still pushing this narrative that don't exist. Says society somehow hate women. And again, I'm like, how is that even possible? Y'all commercials don't even have dudes like that no more. This is that a food commercial? Every other commercial is either a woman, a woman and a woman, a woman and a man, but the man is dumb, the woman is more superior, the woman is more smarter. Like, and yet you're going to say society hates women? No, I've watched a lot of one poop on TV. Society treasures women. It's the men that are idiots, the men that are incompetent. Again, I ask. Everybody who co-signs this message has been pushed into the world, into the stratosphere. Forget the men. And this is a Kevin Samuel talking point. What about your boys? Hmm? What about the boys, the men that you are going to replace? Quote, unquote, the worst men them that you describe. You are shaping the men that you don't like. You're shaping their children to be the men that you want, the men that you wanted didn't want you. I know the saying this sounds a bit confusing, but you're turning the boys into the men that you want but didn't want you. At the cost of reworking that quote unquote toxic masculinity that you all love so much. So you turn him into a bitch, but he looks like the man that you want though, that you wanted. So now you have a emotionally charged man child. And you're not allowed to correct him because if you do that, you hate him. Now what the child is turning into, no, 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 no. You hate the child. Somehow in somebody's head, this made sense. In somebody's head, that makes sense. So. And again, they removed Princess Peach as the central talking point. You know, she isn't the victim in this one. She isn't the damsel in distress. It's Luigi. I believe so they were upset about that too. Yes. Somebody make that make sense, Rasta. If they did the original trope the original way, problem. Them do it away where she's free. She's even a mentor. You understand me? She's doing so much to help Mario progress. She's no simple dancing in the show. 
Even at the last part when they were heading to Cooper's castle, she stepped on an axe, it flipped up and she caught it. I catch it behind her back while they're while they're walking to the to the castle. Translation: No victim right here, Rasta. No victim right here. Bad people right here, Rasta. So again, my ask people, why are you freaking out? I mean, even though she was supposed to be the one in peril, they reworked it away that she is not. And that bothers people somehow. How, Sway? Isn't this what you were fighting against? The useless princess syndrome? The useless princess syndrome. I'm going to say it. I'm going to stop saying it. People need to let go this way of thinking. Women are not useless, and women are also not men. Princess Peach became Mario's, Mario's teacher. Someone who has never, ever, 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 had to fight for her life. Yes, there's a comic book for Mario. She never had to fight off anybody. The movie made her more of an independent don't need no man kind of chick. Okay. But it was done correctly. You feel me? So many people are saying, oh, oh, they didn't utilize her more. I'm like, they only utilize, yeah, utilize what they do to Aladdin, where it's his movie, but it's Jasmine at a real star feet. That's exactly what them that try to do. Same thing what they did with Thor, Love and Thunder. Was Thor's movie, but it was Jane Foster who was the star. That was supposed to be the same trope for Mario, a blum, a bumbling idiot that needs a woman's help. <laughs> needs a woman's help to to make it cross the finishing line. But in this case, he would just be there looking cute. AKA the damsel in distress, for those of you who don't realize. Hollywood has been reworking this narrative so much that it's gotten disgusting. For our first half, Mulan, that movie, nothing about what Mulan did made sense, not even a little. And when woke activists them keep push this rubbish, say, but, 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 this is just an adaptation, me say, for who? Because women aren't going to watch this. So who are you making the adaptation for? Men? We didn't ask for this. So who are you making this shit for? Oh, yourself. There you go. That's what's really being propagated now. Not no bombard to work to try and help to make people life move. No, no. This is all Hollywood, baby. Nothing about this is for help the people. This is just Hollywood's ego that lacks being checked. They, they lack. Anybody tell them that they fucking up. Nobody can tell them that they fucking up. Nobody can hold them accountable. And they have enough money that their pockets now pinch them yet. But Mario was done somewhat good. It wasn't excellent, but it was done somewhat good. And I tell people that Mario was not for the children, it was more for the parents. Because only the parents them can understand or re relate to the cameos, or not cameos, all of the, the things them were, you know, oh, I know that, that's from... From that Mario game, or oh, that's from that's what it's for. It's for the peer, it's for the people, the parents, not the kids. I'm just there for the ride. But it's for people like me. Yeah, people who grew up playing Mario, 
and understand what the hero's struggle was. Grew up learning that, you know, in first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. You can dust it off and try again, even though I'm using an Alea line. But that, the, Mario, that in, in a nutshell was what Mario was. If at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. You can dust it off and try again. That was the hero's um, struggle, people. Life isn't supposed to be easy. Life is going to always challenge you. Always. Whether you want to or not. Life don't care. <laughs> Life don't care. Why should it care? Why should life care? Why should life care that your life isn't how it is? Hmm? Doesn't matter. The arc, the archetype exists for a reason. In order for you to become anything, you have to be forged in fire. Forged in fire, which means you have to be made through all the adversities. And then, and again, I love that trope because most people can relate to that trope. Because most people are that trope. By the way. Does anybody understand that this whole alpha and this whole beta argument needs to be more truly expounded? Because I did some research and find out that there's so many different archetypes in the dating market and we're not be, they're not being pushed. I'm not talking a sigma. There's deltas, omegas, and et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, wow, like, yep, they all exist. But they hold on to those two main parts, and that's it. But I'm happy that Mario was made, and I'm happy that they went against the grain, and I'm happy that it 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 it, it broke all the naysayers what they wanted to happen. It lived up to the hype. People went to watch it over and over again. All good stuff in my head. All good news. Some people don't like it, but I love it. And I'm going to bring my daughter to go watch it too. So, Super Mario Brothers, people. I am all for it. Stay clear of movies because of the woke, the woke nonsense. I stay clear from movies because I don't want to have to explain to my daughter. Yes, honey. Um, yeah, that yeah. You can't do that. Huh? Yeah, baby, you can't do that. But 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 people think these little girls and little boys are not being indoctrinated. Y'all need to grow hell, grow the hell up. I'm terrified the day my daughter comes home and says, Daddy, 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 I'm a boy. I am terrified the day that happens. This is being pushed frequently. This is being pushed. Too frequently. And people like me are considered misogynistic. I'm considered toxic for not agreeing with people's rubbish. That's what makes me toxic. Are you serious right now? That's all it takes to be toxic, gentlemen. Disagreeing. Not, 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 not the points to why I'm disagreeing. Just of the strength or the fact that I have the gall, the unmitigated gall, fear. Reject this ideology. Because it is an ideology, people. Because them, they know, we know, the world know. Say, outside of this ideology, it can't exist anywhere else. Wokeism can't apply to real life. The LGBT and the the quote-unquote grooming circles that's being pushed. It's kind of, you understand me? It, it breaks my heart. Everybody loves the underdog story. Everybody coming from rags to riches. That's the underdog story. From rags to riches. Nobody, nobody likes the whole, oh, my daddy is rich, so, you know, you should just love me. If somebody cares, then high school musical would, wouldn't make sense because it should, it should have come from the, the point of view of Sharpay, right? You know, 
she can have whatever she wants, you know, because daddy's rich. And the one thing Sharpe couldn't get in High School Musical was Troy. All her money couldn't give her that. So that's how you write movies. That's how you write movies. Oh, my God. And I'm sorry again, people. I know I went on for a, a good minute, but I was encouraged because this, this would have been a dead issue in my head. But when I saw Mario hold on to the things in that the fans and the people I'm actually wanted to see and double down and re reinstate the whole, yeah, you're not going to make my movie about you. You're going to make my movie about what I tell you to do. That's why I believe a lot of people don't go watch it. Because somebody stand up to a Hollywood film. Finally, somebody stood up and tell Hollywood, hell the F no. Yeah, we won't go. I think that's one of the most refreshing things I've seen in a very long time. Just saying. Oh, um, by the way, although this is not a promo, um, I got the shirt. I'm a word of sexual. I, I mean, I fuck with words. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Doctor, I'm gonna put it to bed, my boss. So I'm just saying, this, this was also on my mind. You hear me? It's not me trying to take over the, 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 the conversation, although technically this is a topic that I was the one who was springing for. The Mario movie, the franchise has reignited my hope. Hope in movies. By the way, gents, the Zelda movies are finally going to be created. So for everybody who wanted to hear what Link sound like, you're finally going to hear it. And you're going to also find out that Zelda is quite the little, no offense, bitch. She is. But this is the part most people don't hear about because y'all didn't read the comics or watch the cartoons. And I know I sound old as hell, but YouTube, goddammit, YouTube. So, yeah. So I look forward to seeing and find them. Once you see how far Nintendo can take their creative genius. Have you ever played Zelda? Any of you? I'm assuming yes. Well, that's an assumption, but the point still stands. Zelda is by far one of the most creative video games ever created. A storyline that spans months of exploration failures and getting up cursing the game out <laughs> pick it up and start again <laughs> who said they ever play a Zelda game and lose them shit they're lying so I'd like to see them finally make it into a movie worth going to watch I would like to see I would like to see Ocarina of Time and I mean they have plenty of titles but when I like to see them make Ocarina of Time the movie I would love to see it being made and it's supposed to be slamming. But we don't probably go put like teen violence because in order to stop Ganondorf in all of the Zelda movies that game them, you have to push a sword through his head. I'm not sure if Nintendo ready for do that. But the yeah, Link had to push a sword through his head every time he sealed him away. So all heap of questions. And even more, even more speculation, but you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for this, this. I'm all for it because sick and tired of what is that now. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. And people need to understand Disney, just as much as Disney have movies and characters. Nintendo kind of has a lot too. Nintendo have enough characters and can make movies from now till next 30 something years. And they don't have to repeat. And majority of them are good. I can't wait to hear the Samus story. Samus, the hunter, bounty hunter, 
her story. What? Are you serious? My, my Nintendo show what, 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 what writing for a truly strong independent woman looks like. Yes. Yes. They're going to see what, what, what it really looks like to write for a woman. Not this Mary Sue bullshit. So yeah, I'm all for it. And, it's not like, and again, I say this, and I, and, I, and I don't mean it in any malice or ill will, but Hollywood purposely do this. This never just evolved into this. They chose to go this way. They chose. Do you think writers are not in Hollywood that watch I don't know, Marvel comics or, or Marvel movies or the comics or watch the, 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 the cartoons, I mean, for say. There's a lot of directors who grew up on that ish. But none of them are being promoted. Diversity has stifled creativity. So what they call creativity is none but asinine toilet water jokes or Asinine talking points where most men are not really about that. But because you say you're not about that, don't mean that it doesn't make I'm like, but you're using a minuscule talking point if you address the majority of people. It doesn't normally end well when you, when you, when you phrase it that way. But I digress, eh? The doctor. Diamond, no, Darius was out. Oh, I tell you, say, me not, me not out, you know, bro. Me, this. <laughs> this. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Right about now, so we we'll walk thing. If it dead as per usual, we still there still. Mm. No, hold on. That you really gone. Let you set up on the right. Remove him backside. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, I mean, we move, we move the conversation from the whole walk argument. Quite frankly, more, more, and them just push more. Just as it is, Nintendo always keep. Push the content the way how they want it, and don't bow to no work ideology. I do so hope they do, do, do continue on the path, path oh. of your righteousness. Again, I respect Mishimoto for, for coming all the way to Hollywood and saying, No, I don't want, I don't like the direction this movie is going, I don't like the direction in which. You guys are taking my movie, are taking our movie. People not afraid to stand on their own two feet and say, hell no. That's what society is missing. People with backbones. People who actually stand up for what they believe in. And not going to the world, to the whims of the system. A society. <coughs> Society has made, <coughs> thanks to COVID-19, majority of the population is on a phone instead of actually trying to meet with people. Mm. People meet people in person and, tell, and I ask them, do you have Snapchat? And I'm like, I'm right here. Fringe. Why the hell do you need my Snapchat? You, This is supposed to be a huge red flag, but... Thanks to hookup culture, and people it's not. Still, and people still not getting laid. <clears throat> That's the sad thing about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I couldn't. You know, I couldn't believe. Say, yo, there's actually a Barbie movie that's supposed to be coming out. Yo, I actually thought it was a running joke, but then Mister say, oh, there's an actual shit trailer for that thing. I'm like, hmm, interesting. What movie? A Barbie movie, like one 
animated Barbie movie supposed to come out. Oh yeah. But oh, then, yeah. but then no. you know what come? What caught my eye afterwards? Mm. I don't know what the hell Hollywood is trying to do to John Cena, but I don't like it. I really don't. Got this man wearing dresses for this fucking movie. Nope. <coughs> Nope, I don't like that, one. I don't like one I try to do to this man. Mm-mm, nope. That's a universal trope for every masculine man. Every man that does not bow to the, the, the walkies agenda, they have to put you, they have to knock you down a few pegs. They tried it with The Rock. The Rock conceived. Kev, um, Kevin Hart, he conceived. They tried Dave Chappelle, it didn't work. They came back, it didn't work. It came back, it didn't work. They tried another comedian, they tried Jamie Foxx. It worked. And the list goes down. For every entertainer that they consider masculine or has a male following, they put you in a dress. They put you in a dress. And, every- I, and let us, you know, speak to the masses out there. Mm-hmm. If it's done in a way that doesn't take away from said masculinity fine but fam we all know what barbie is it's a centralized thing for girls so the fact that you're one of the biggest star them from wrestling going into hollywood and have this man in a promotional po- posters in a dress i already know where that shit is going and it ain't pretty it's not pretty at all it's not a good look i will be but honest with you. I realize a lot of these actors are literally just doing what they have to do to survive. So I know, and I know people are like, oh, oh, where's the morality? Huh? How you, how you are born out them people and you know, born out them actors here? I'm like, well, look at it this way. They stepped into the game while it was rigged. By the time The Rock and Dave Batista and now John Cena, but before them stepped into the game, the game was already rigged against them. So... Everybody who's, ooh, 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 we couldn't, they couldn't catch me, I do that. I would have never do that. This, this, and the, one bag of knives, one bag of knives, so rotate, knives, knives. Me, I tell you, me, you wouldn't do it. Knives, that's nothing but fucking knives. But then, most of them don't realize that when you, when you look upon a 45, or so for example, you look upon a, a $15 million contract, right? $15 million for you to, do something. And if you don't, you're blacklisted. Most of these men and women really think before them agree to, agree to some of this nonsense because they realize that not only are they being forced to do this, a lot of them are being strong-armed into this, if you know what strong-armed means. For those of you who don't know what the term to be strong-armed is, it's pretty much you're forcing me without forcing me, physically forcing me. You're putting me in an uncomfortable, uncompromising position that I have to do something or you do something. That's the term strong arm. And sure, yes, they can say no, but I mean... At what if, cost? I mean, if the, I mean, if the majority of them had, had said no, but again... It's all dependent on the circumstances of what that contract entails. Does that contract mean that your family is also going to be blacklisted and, and you know, animosity towards your family? Does that also mean that um, society is going to view you as some prick? I mean, they did, tr- they did try to wipe off Brendan Fraser off the map and thank God that he went to rehab and came back stronger than before. I mean, I cried genuine tears when I saw this man again. I'm like, God damn, they really did a number on the boy. It was only one thing we never liked, though. Yes, he just came back, but he already won. He already won an Oscar. His first time back, that thing called Wheel, right? That movie. He won with that movie. Not saying it was a bad movie, but there were better movies out. Yeah, but because... I mean, I get it, but at the same time. Mm-hmm. I think because the whole, I mean, I think that was around the time the whole Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing was still taking the world by storm. I think they really did it more, mostly for 
trying to take some positivity back into Hollywood because of all of the fuck that was going on. Because remember, all even at that time, people did try to blacklist the rock. <laughs> we are not going to forget that whole Black Adam whole fiasco. You know, speaking of Black Adam, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like the rock doesn't have an ego. I mean, every man does. And his is very huge because him and this man, him and Bindi is still a feud to this day. Why you think this man not in the Fast and Furious um recent trailers? It's not coincidental. Wow. I mean, to be fair, I was one of those person who say, yo, Hobbs and Shaw, yo, fuck that. It makes no sense. And I watch that shit. And I'm like, you know, oh. when the rock actually puts effort in, you can see, yes, he's a damn good actor. But the ego, the ego thing just uh, and Black Adam was a good movie, but again, you have to talk about DC's wankers against The Rock and his cojones. <laughs> Not a good mix. It's weird. The movie wasn't bad. It wasn't. I watched the. But I the went to the movies movie and watched the biggest their problem movie. I had with it. It wasn't bad. Biggest problem I had with it. Was it great, but it wasn't bad. Mm. Biggest problem I had with it, I think, was that. You can see there's some continuity that's supposed to draw from the Sasha movie and the Superman movie, but DC being DC got rid of the best Superman they fucking had. All for what? For bullshit. No, it's called a woke ideology. Yes. And Henry 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 Cavill was too too masculine, you know? He wasn't a bitch. Oh, the man man decides, look, this all stems from the Witcher nonsense. The man decides, look, I'm a big Witcher fan. You guys are doing all this this bullshit. So it's either you do it right or I walk. And the man walked. I give him credit for that because not a lot of actors are going to stand up for what they did. See? True. True. And then DC being... You know, I find it so ironic. DC gets rid of Henry Cavill and talks about they're going to reset the entire timeline. Yet still, Ezra Miller, who has been a complete menace to society. Oh, we're not going to forget that this motherfucker has been, what, lighting cars on fire? I believe he's gotten away with first-degree murder breaking into, twice. Breaking into people's houses, terrorizing families. And Ezra, and, and I mean, you're not the only person who has said this. I've heard um, social media, just like we, I've heard other social media influencers say, this day, yeah. Ezra Miller has something on the, the executives. Um, hmm. Some, some, somebody was caught. <laughs> so, someone was caught slipping on the soap in the bathroom, doing things that they should not be doing. It's probably someone was banging someone's wife running a train. We, we might never know. Uh, you understand me, but Ezra Miller, well, I know, I know, I look, I look on like, I look on what Marvel is doing to Jonathan Majors. Oh. Even when the man bring him receipt, them. That them still want to get rid of the man. And I'm like, no, swear. No, no, hold on, Abracha. Hold on. What did I tell you when, when I mentioned that story in the podcast? I told you guys, yo, even if the man is innocent, his career is over. I man, told you guys this. People. And this goes to all of the, the unfair, unrealistic people out there. For said this man was Ray and Ray, the man bring him evidence, yo. That should have killed this conversation. The, the woman he come forward. The receipt. woman come forward and said, No, I lied. But the damage was already done. The man career is in a standstill, and Marvel being Marvel said, Nope, we don't want to be a part of this. Away and quite frankly, that part of I me mean, understand that the level of hypocrisy I'm never understand from Marvel, right? Because, well. And, Considering all the all the off off movie issues that uh, my boy there who play Iron Man had while leading up to the uh, of the movies, yeah, Marvel are a bunch of hypocrites. But you know, we, you know, Marvel fans don't talk about that shit because I mean, I mean, good actor. I mean, I mean, I mean, hey, hey, don't get me wrong, his redemption story very heartwarming. But we're not going to just sit here and pretend like say, oh, this man was not a fucking junkie. I'm not gonna sit on and pretend like that shit wasn't there. Cool. And I said the same thing to everybody too. I mean, for God's sake, I love Johnny Depp as much as the next person, but this man was a full blown crackhead. But what? Whoa, the, man, what? the man did not. So go. was Ronnie. So was Robert Downey Jr. 
If yeah, I don't put it on you, we don't no, now remember. The thing with Johnny Depp is this man That's has been in that. Hollywood long enough for someone to catch dirt on him. You don't stay in that place and dirt is not caught on you. And yet still, the man was proven innocent and yet still people have the gall and the nerve to say he is a trash human being. Yet still, that bitch you know, if, you know, you know, DC have some nerve to only pull it, to only pull back and armor her just because the backlash from fans got too much for the media. <laughs> well, Andy, did you say pull back? She's in Aquaman too. Yeah, again. The petition, well, Andy, well, Andy, there was a digital petition for those of you who forgot. There was a digital petition that was filed against Amber Heard and. Marvel, well, DC, sorry, DC, you understand me? And DC went on the, you need to understand how bad this got, you know, people. Marvel used what they, 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 what Amber Heard lied about and used that. DC still go against the fans um, and kept that woman in for, for and I believe, and I believe, and I believe, and I believe that I believe that's one of the the second major reason why the timeline reboot is being okay. done. And I then now in Marvel, Mar same thing like Marvel, and be able to, them reacted the same way like what the mother Jonathan Majors. They must tear down. They must tear down Johnny Depp immediately. No questions, no, in, no investigation, no nothing. No backing, no defense, no yeah, nothing. Yeah, no, tear, tear, I, I, tear I just remember something. I, I just remember as much as I'm not for the um, Little Mermaid animated movie, and I will say this, the girl, she's a fantastic singer. I don't give a shit what nobody wants to say. But Disney, you owe Johnny Depp a fucking apology. You owe that man an apology. You should be... Bowing That's down true. to his whims. I, I know it won't happen. But you need, you don't need to bow down to that man's whims. Because this man made you, made your company into what it is. Because if I need him, I carry Paris of the Caribbean for him back. I don't know what they want to do right now. They look how monopoly we have over the world. People, you need to also take into consideration. Marvel was saved by a black man. A black man's movie saved Marvel. For those of you who think the Avengers and every one of those movies just miraculously it's good. weighing in about 236 pounds and coming through as a baddest vampire ever to grace the earth. Blade. Blade. Put respect on Wesley Stipe's fucking name. That naga happened. So you'll never hear Marvel admit this. You'll never hear quote I mean, unquote. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean Bracha, if you if want to push it, I put, and him save yeah. the fucking franchise. I mean, Bracha, if you want to put it a little further, we can also just say, yo, oh, the HBO series for Spawn also saved DC, but you know, we're not talking about that a lot, you know? Okay. I mean, I mean, yes, I get that, but why is an uphill fight for me? You understand me? It's a, because, no, it's, a, it's a battle that has no ending because you think you have the solution and then these motherfuckers are going to come with some sideways bullshit that makes absolutely no sense. I mean, let's be real here. What the, what the real main reason why Spawn hasn't gotten his own film yet? We all know. Because, we all know. Because the man who created Spawn tells DC, he said, yo, if I don't go get to Keith Davids to voice this man, I don't can fuck off. You need to understand the people. Both DC and Marvel have been trying to buy Spawn for the better of 20-something plus odd years. And the man who created tell them pint banks that unless I keep David I do it, oh no, can go so go no mad dog. And you have to know the main reason why he's so adamant on keep David's being it. There is only, there's something about a character being built for someone's voice. No, like how Dark Vader was built for him um, sitting in my man there. Yeah. Kind of like that. Only difference is Keith David's built bad man. Be sure you how great the man is. The man went out of his way. I think he got paid for it, I'm not sure, but he voiced Spawn in the um, MK11 when yeah. Spawn was introduced as one of the DLC, DLC characters. Bad man, the man was only in the game for mostly a week when it when him get launched. 
and he became the most famous character in it all of the MK series just for one week alone. <coughs> I mean, people need to understand something, you know. Spawn is an is a pop cultural icon. When you hear the word spawn, we all know who this that is. Man started the we all know who that is. Hero trope. He did. <coughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, he didn't start it, but oh, he I made mean, yo. He he, he took it. I mean, he took he it. Perfected the whole sub story. Check. Oh yes, he did. Oh, damn, by the way, damn, damn by the way, check for those of you who don't have no idea what we're talking about. When you're finished, go on YouTube and write in S P A W N, and just press search, and you'll understand what we're talking about. There was a movie made for it in the early 2000s called Spawn, with Michael Jai White, the same black belt I was talking about earlier. I mean, or yeah. you can just type, or you can just type in um, most overpowered black black character ever made in history. I mean, you can put that into. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. definitely. Uh, when we talk about over over black characters, <laughs> Yo, Spawn is on a not... level that is <laughs> it's better yeah. not to even see. Maybe honest with you, if I could pick somebody from Marvel or DC, what would I say? You know, say come close to Spawn when it comes to overpoweredness. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom or Ghost Rider. Only two, in my oh, opinion. Two. Two good pick too. Me take that back. Adding Ghost Rider, yeah, two very good picks. And if you ever know the funniest thing? You ever know the main thing that holds Doctor Doom back, back from doing what he should do? Because it's not as if the Panther God didn't say, you know, you are a bad tyrant, but you're not wrong. You ever know the main thing that make this nigga care take over the world? Yes, his ego. <laughs> it's motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And people, you need to understand, you know. It's not one or two time this man was supposed to win. Like, my, my lit- man. Well, Anna, he's literally, literally standing beside the finish line. He has, he has mopped the floor with almost everybody. He's done everything right what? up to this point. Up to this point. But then Reed Richards challenges his ego <laughs> and he falls for it again oh my god this is the one main thing women ever like doom for even as a child watching the animated says like god damn him win him wait a minute read yo no he yo, this man yo on, they really make him a- oh this my is, god this dumbass yes. You know, you know oh, as much as I don't want to disrespect Doom here, yo, this is where I think Megatron even falls into this category. Yes. But, oh, but my man. God. Yes, but, my one of them. How, he you, is, oh, my God, he's so one of them. But Megatron man, wins so many times. And because of his no, fucking... Hold on, hold on. I was oh my watching Transformers Prime, Prime series recently in a bracha. I mean, I rewatch it. Yeah. Man, Starscream ready for disintegrate Prime, you know, my own. Have the man at the mercy. You know what Megatron do? Megatron save Prime. Talking about if anyone's going to end Optimus, it's going to be me. I'm like, motherfucker, you just came back from the dead. That's a what? Vegeta line, by the way. Nobody kills Kakarot as long as I have destiny has left that book. I'm like, oh what? my god. Optimus <laughs> guilty I too. Optimus has gotten umpteen times to kill this nigga. And he says, sir, oh, this sir. is what separates um, the Autobots from the Decepticons. I'm like, huh? I remember sir. a nigga named Solano. I'm like, yo, you know, sir, I, I regret reading the Transformers <laughs> comics for one reason. It, it, mm. Right, child, when I say I got traumatized by reading, by, like, some of the darkest Autobots moments, like, what do you mean dark? I mean, like shit darker than anything Megatron has ever done. We talk about cannibalism, sir. I read the comics, my boy. Oh my god! No. I read the comics, <laughs> and, I, and I watched that video, that, that that video game, um, cut all the cutscenes him, and I watched it and I cussed it clot because it's factually wrong and it purposely did that. The Autobots are the aggressors. 
We've been cheering for the fucking bad guys the whole time. Oh my god. I, I mean, like, I mean, hey, when hey, I found that kid out, to be fair, to be, to be fair, to be fair, not as if Ari and Pax actually had a choice in the matter, but again, again, you had a, you've had a million years to learn the truth. But then again, Megatron isn't a saint by any means. But we all know that Megatron was wrong. But he was wrong, but he had a good reason for his wrongness. No, but then again, then again, you have to remember, say, oh, the fallen, the fallen, he played a big part in that bullshit too, because he started that nonsense as well. I mean, he knew what was going to happen, and he still let it happen. So True. him just as bad. True. And then you have, and then you have Unic, Unic, Unicron could have stopped it all, but he's like, hmm, who am I to stop this war? I want chaos. I want it all. I'm like, motherfucker, you piece of people, garbage. People, I'm, you I'm, need I'm to like, understand That's why I was locked your ass in the planet in the first place, you piece of shit. Yep. So here's, so here, here's some backstory for Parissa, y'all, right? I mean, doctor went on and on, but me understand what him saying, you know. This is for the one in the back who is going to watch this video and say, if you stay this long with us, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> 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 Let me give you some backstory just to ease the pain a bit. In Jamaican terms, this is the upper class versus the lower class. <laughs> oh, that's a but kind way to put it, but okay, let's go. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> easiest, way, the easiest way to break this crap down for everybody else now in, who, who's here with us, and we thank you all, all 50 of you. Come on, people, make a reach 100. That is I, don't think that's, I don't think that's too much to ask. Oh, no. Share it. Share the message, yo. We I mean, I mean if you I mean if you chat, I mean if you Autobots fans are offended, I mean I'd be glad to take you on in the comments. I'll be glad for that shit. Bring it on. But anywho, that's pretty much it. The Autobots were the uptoners and the Decepticons were the ghetto, the quote unquote ghetto rats. Yeah. And if we make it a bit easier, Orion Pax and Megatron were kind of like the Hashiram and the Madara of their world. The difference being Orion Pax was more of a, you know, that timid little nerd that was just there and he gave his ideas. And Megatron actually had good ideas for, me, you know, making the planet better. But we have to remember um, something. Pause a second. People take this also into consideration. The people who wrote Transformers, um, especially in the comics, they drew from actual real life scenarios. What Nazis? <laughs> Not just that alone, <laughs> but black people struggle. Orion Pax was Dr. Martin Luther King, the good guy that believed that through legislation we could get change. And Megatron was that. And Megatron spoken, was you know, Malcolm mm. X before he found Nirvana. Yeah. The, the, we're talking the hot blooded Malcolm X. The one who was quick for draw of him rifle, Malcolm X. Him. I mean, I mean, it's not as if he was wrong because what? How much no, I, I get that. Hold on. But, well, I get that, but you can't. Hold on. Make sure I remember. How much? Yeah, 30. Yeah, third, the original 13. Although we're not really caught the Fallen because the Fallen did betray him afterwards. Okay. But yeah, the, there, there is the council because they were, the, I mean, Primus and Unicron were basically gone by this point. So you had the original 13 making all these rules and plans. And Megatron being Megatron, he offered a solution to the, um, I believe it was an energy crisis that Cybertron was ongoing, I believe. Yeah. So you know what? 12 out of the 13 said, um, your um ideas are real good, but we're going to give the Matrix to Orion Pax. What? What? You're going to give it? Huh? Pause well, a second, people. Try to understand. What just happened? So in layman's term, <laughs> Megatron is the, the ghetto champion. He is the bounty killer of the canvas of the story, eh? <laughs> you know? Oh, what a comparison. Go easy now, man. Again, this is for the man at the back when I understand none of this mean. 
here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, well, I'm not talking to people who are like us. I'm talking to the person at the back who none of this don't make no sense to him. True. So back to me, I said, so Megatron was like the bounty killer who knows say, uh, in order to get theme share of the pie, him have a rub shoulder with these corporate sharks, which is the upper town. Oh, I'm uptown, the upper class. The upper class look upon Megatron, aka Bounty, and say, you know what? You're cool, your music slap, your, your ideas them good, but we're gonna go with Sean Paul. Or Ryan Pax. I mean, you're, you're, you're cool, but we prefer him. Because... These motherfuckers gave this man the matrix of leadership. Yo, try to on what For you breaking... Hold for you breaking bad fans out there, this is the equivalent of Walter shooting Mike just because he lost an argument. The man them literally get Orion packs the matrix just because of pettiness. And no, not just that alone. Also, take this into consideration. They realized that Orion Pax and Megatron were two of the strongest voices at the time. And this is, and again, like I said, this is how they they drew from history. At, at one point in American history, black people and white people were on the same level. It was a class problem. It wasn't a color problem. But they realized how to fix it. Make it about color. And they gave white people a little bit more benefits. Not, not the same, you know. So try if you understand this, you know. Orion Pax is like that poor white person who got few more benefits than the than every other black person. So so nat so naturally, you know, Megatron was so Megatron, being the black person, he took offense to this because it was supposed to be him. <laughs> him, yeah, took him offense. in the driver's yeah. seat. Yeah, I'm sorry, but took, I'm took trying offense. to break it down for those who don't understand what we're talking about. Oh no, oh, oh no, I understand that, but you know, you know, taking offense, you know, I mean, how dare they give him? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Let me plunge mm -hmm. my entire planet into a civil war. This create a cause based on fear and manipulation. And guess what? I'm going to not only take back the matrix, but I'm going to conquer it my way. So yeah. An entire war started because of what? Bullshit. But it's understandable bullshit. And, and, and people try to understand something. Orion Pax, his name was changed. And I believe this was like adding salt into the wound. Well, and, well, and, well, and, I mean, a, lot of, a lot of people uh, tend to forget he mm -hmm. wasn't a prime until a few he years was. later. He was just there. They just told him that he was Optimus Prime just to piss off Megatron. Yes. For God's sake. Se well, I know. For God's sake. Sentinel didn't recognize Optimus as no goddamn leader. The man said, nigga, you're a punk. Yes. Sentinel said that. Yes, yes. The original leader of the Autobots. For God's sake, the fallen himself said, I might be fallen, but you're shit. Bruh. People, you understand something. Optimus Prime is the kind of leader that would literally destroy himself if he felt that he was not being as honest and forthright in his endeavors. Which means if we're fighting and Optimus feels like he's cheating, he will self-destruct because that's the kind of guy he is. And I mean, and I, and I, and I, hey, and I mean, I mean, as frustrating as it might be sometimes, you kind of understand why he is like that. Because think of it this way: Megatron, otherwise known as Megatronus, was the man's best friend. The man he got turned against his own friend for what? The man said all that on a mouth, say, "Yo, Autobots and Decepticons should have never been separated in the first place." True. And understand something, people. 
They both met during fights for their lives. That's how Orion Pax, aka Optimus Prime, and Megatron first met. They were in. They are. They were like in. Um, what's that? What? What? Um, what, what the energy source them again? Cyber. Cyber. Um, energy. Cyber. Yeah, that. They were in the mines, and they had to. They made because rations were so small. The the Autobots knew that these workers, the ones them that were digging and going through, they were pretty much working themselves to death to keep um, Cybertron floating. They didn't give a shit. These they had friends, allies, people who needed them um, the, the 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 energy to survive, and the Autobots did not give a fuck. Easiest way to put it, they didn't care. I'm, and I'm- I mean, to be fair, this was under the tutelage of Sentinel, so we can't really say Orion Pax, but I mean, it didn't help that Megatron was actively trying to extinguish any Autobot spark he got his hands on. So, yeah, it was just a whole big mess. So, man, like I said, Megatron, Megatron never liked the slackness. But instead of trying to, and again, wanna try, wanna try talk him way to peace. And the other one murdered him with a piece. And I mean, you can't really blame none of them on them because, and again, this is why I said original crimes weren't shit. Yes, <laughs> the fallen did betray them, but that now have nothing to do with the war on Cybertron. You motherfuckers decided, hey, I'm going to give the matrix of leadership to the guy that doesn't deserve it. For God's sakes, the man says what I want to mouth, say never need it. The Matrix of Leadership. What did I tell you say? And then years later, Pr- Batman, if Primus have come back to life, I say, y'all fucked up. <laughs> what? The Batman, right. the- Mega- Megatron's name should have been Megatron Prime. Yet, yet- even sound better. For, for, first of all, the fallen named Megatron his successor. A Mega Prime. I bet it. Cutting him again, Mega Prime. That made more sense. Mega oh, Prime. The Fallen said, hey, this man should be my successor. You know the rest of Prime them said? Fuck you. Wow. The, oh, Batman, hold on. Yeah, all right. So Sentinel was a part of the 12, and so other set of man them. And the Fallen was a man who said, yo, Mega Try, yeah, this nigga, he's cooking. The rest of Prime them said, nah, fuck that. Orion Pax, come here. Take this. This will give you the wisdom you need. Oh, by the way, people, he didn't just get it like that. I know we've been saying he got the matrix of leadership. And, uh, what I know, what I know, Rachel, let, let, let's put it this way. Mm. He wasn't bestowed it like, oh, this is some great power that you need. Th- these niggas literally forced him to take the matrix. Like, dead ass. They, they held his ass down, put it inside him and say, hey, yeah, that's yours. Um, And also, let me explain. Remember I said they drew from history? You remember when Martin Luther King was on that balcony before he was shot? <laughs> I, like that. I, know shot ass. I know where you're going with this. They shot his ass. And he was on death's door. So look at it this way. You are dying. Right? <laughs> I, look at you, I look at you while dying and say, so, we've come at a crossroads. You remember the other day when we said we wanted to give you the um, the matrix of leadership? It comes with its own life support system. You give you know that? As soon as it goes in, it literally reworks your inside. This motherfuckers you. manipulated the, this motherfucker shot his ass and yes, they said they did. So yes, they what? fucking did. Hey, and most so. people don't know that. It was the Autobots who shot Bomba Orion Prox. It was not the but they made it. Well, I know. But what and if, well, I, know. And if like I remember it like, correctly, oh, I believe, I know. if I remember it correctly, I think it was Ultra Magnus that they had shot his ass too. Bomba class. Bomba class. Yo. Well, I know. Well, I know. Well, I know. You know why this is ironic? You know why this is ironic? Let me get up a word. When, up, when Optimus died, guess who yeah. got the Matrix after? Ultra Madness. <laughs> you see, after he shot Wallander, when, when he shot him at first, 
they they would say he was he was colluding with dirty with dirty Decepticons. So he was in in in, in that same Magnus brother uh, mind. Once you fuck with them, you are one of them. That's I mean, how we look at it. I mean, to be fair, the twelve were manipulating Magnus, and they kinda never told him who was going to be making the speech. They just said, "Hey, you're our best stabber. Shoot that guy who, when you see him." So yes. yeah, I mean, he did freak out when he realized he shot Aryan, but I mean, yes. According to Megatron, Megatron at this point was an asshole. And I said, hmm, you, you, you missed. You should have gone for the heart. <laughs> what an oh, asshole. Oh. What an asshole. So, but look at it this way. He damaged him enough that he was going to die either way. Oh, so, yeah. He shot, much, him straight, oh, he, straight, he shot him straight in the energy chamber. And yes, yeah. and Sentinel was just like, hey, remember that talk we had about the Matrix? Uh, would you like it now? It can probably save your life. These assholes... Yeah. These assholes manipulated him into becoming Optimus Prime. Prime. Ah. Exactly. So he, he, he resurfaces, all made up, all new, all more powerful. And then he was still trying to be, he was still trying to be that peacemaker. And then when he finally came to his feet, Megatron looked at him and said, no, for the time, for the time that you've been gone, this is what has happened. And he told him and all the atrocities that the Autobots did. And he left out the parts where he did fuckery. And the Autobots was like, and to me, that's where he fucked up. He should have just told Optimus Prime the parts that he did. Because, yes, the Autobots really were destroying and dismantling and killing. But at, the, but at the same time, Megatron was literally destroying the planet from the inside. You see, that's the biggest problem with Megatron. Right, yeah. Yes, you feel for him, but at the same time, nigga, you're destroying your planet as well. To prove what? Um, and, oh. and, you, you, know, one, you know, one of the few things I can never forgive Megatron for, his treatment of Starscream was so fucking horrible. It was so... Yo, it got so bad. I was I got uncomfortable reading through the co- yeah. Megatron, remember, 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 I don't know if I remember that specific comic where um I think Megatron was deceased at this point and Starscream got control of the Decepticons and everything mm-hmm. was going to yep. shit because I think yeah they be, some of the Decepticons became cannibals and they started feeding off one another and everything was going wrong. Megatron come back now. He say yo what the hell is going on? And st- you know, start screaming out, can I tell Megatron everything? And I'm gonna say, Yo, if you're going to kill me, just do it now. This motherfucker oh, had the god to go to him and say, No, I want you to run, I want you to give me a chase. I'm like, You yep. sadistic, fuck. yep, yep. And you people don't need to understand something that let me tell you something. I am not for anybody being taken. That bad, badly advantage of ever, man or woman. So I know we've been talking about, you know, fiction like, and we've, we've been you know, basically and, talking about slavery and uprising and you know, we we we've, we've just broken it down into understandable bits because maybe honest with you, half of the names I'm not this that damn thing I don't even remember half of them name. Some of the names that was just ridiculously ridiculous. Just leave that that. Over Cetatron, but, but, from Carina Tron. If there's, one, if there's one thing that has always remained consistent with Transformers, no matter what continuity, that mm-hmm. shit is dark as fuck. Yo, may I tell you, people, for those of you who grew up watching Transformers, like myself, the version where they make we watch is to sell we ties. <laughs> The version, <laughs> this is a real fucking <laughs> for, those, for those of you who like to read and have money, like, I don't want a big money, but enough for your subscription. Because, maybe honest with most people, and this is this is not me just being petty or whatever. For most anime readers, even if they are Jamaica, right? If you can save seven hundred dollar for the month. You can have unlimited access to a, a plethora of mangas and 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 actual mom 
um, let me come again, comic books, reels. You can read to your heart's content. But be forewarned. Be forewarned. Yes. I will yes. tell you this. That Autobot symbol that you, some of you motherfuckers tattooed to yourself, trust me. Some of the shit I purposely went through and read. But yes. man, I, oh yeah, I only have to call this Hell one, no. I only have to call this one singular name and I know everyone is going to be shook. Sonda. That motherfucker. Him. Oh. That motherfucker right there. Oh. He, yo, yeah, him, yeah, him, yeah, he is the main. Yo, you would have think the Dinobots would have been bad. Oh, mother. Oh, yo. oh. Not even close. <laughs> Sonder. Not even close. Sonder. The Not doctor, of, the former doctor of the Autobots, the living cannibal, the, yeah, the living Hannibal Hecht. Yeah, Dan. May I tell and you? Then, and then on top of it, you know what he gets off on? Looking into people's memories. Yes. Creepy ass motherfucker. So try to understand something, yeah? If you have access and you can, and just, just like he said, be warned. A lot of the things, like for example, One Piece. Right, the One Piece manga is way more brutal than the actual anime. Oh, yeah, they go into detail on niggas getting getting I, like, for example, Axan Morgan. This is like one of the earliest villains. He has a jaw, like a like a like a like a, cha, cha, a charm charm metal jaw. He has an axe on his hand. In the anime, he hits a soldier in the head and kill him. Hmm. In the manga, he used the sharp end of this of that axe and split him side wide open. One swing. I'm, well, I mean, I mean, if we're going to be honest here, Bracha, I mean, even our beloved Power Rangers, that shit got very dark. I oh, mean, yeah. shattered, uh, shattered grid alone. Yo, I was reading that shit with uh, one of my brethren, sis, little sister then. And she and, and her favorite color is pink. You know, she's out for the pink range and all that stuff. Oh, but man, shit, I know. Well, I know. Well, I know. You said we get to the part where um, Tommy literally, uh, it basically mind raping Kimberly. Cool? Yeah. Yo, my girl lock up in her room for a week. We check for her and she said, I don't want to read this anymore. And I'm like, if this, if this is affecting grown-ass adults, I can only imagine the trauma that shit is giving a child. Sir, sir, I'm going to tell you, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Some people might say, oh, it's because I grew up on the Disney brand of everything. And I'm like, well, probably. But then again, from a moral standpoint, this shit is just bizarrely too graphic. And I'm like, yo. But, but, but these, these are the same it's folks who created the things that don't die. These are the same kind of things that create serial fucking killers and, and sociopaths, my boy. So I'm like, yo, yo, yo what, what, man, man, what man. kind of shit this? If, if, you look, right, if you look, no, if you look for Shattered Grid, whole story point, Zin, mm -hmm. it's basically, hmm, what if Tommy actually won that day and beat the Rangers' ass? All right, cool. So let's see. Yes. He, he kills Jason, takes his power coin, cool. He killed the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, except Billy. Stating that he wants Billy to feel all the sorrow and pain that he should suffer. Cool. This nigga merges all the power coins to make one morpher. Take into consideration he still he somehow got the white white range of powers after he killed Zordon. Yes. Tommy killed Zordon in this edition. Mm -hmm. So fast forward. And he killed Rita too. Yep. And he killed Rita too. And well, she, I mean, she I, well, I mean, well, I mean re, she had it coming because I don't know oh. how she didn't see that this nigga was off, off the rails, but you know, neither yeah. here nor there. Even, even she said it too. Before he did it, did it, did it to her, he, she's like, this is fucked up. This is like, she's like, it doesn't surprise me because I expected this at some point. I'm like, you expected to get Murph? Wow. You really have low self-esteem. Bro, bro. when yes, Zed find out, say, yo, Rita dead, and Zed look upon Tommy, and the man say, uh-uh, I'm not fucking with this nigga. This nigga murked Zed. Yep. So he's created this army, and he's like, why do the Power Rangers keep on giving up their powers? I mean, that was a valid question for a lot of fans, because we used to ask, yo, why do I give up them powers, though? Like, 
Isn't the city going to be in danger again? Like a couple years down the line? I said the same shit too. So Tommy, oh. in his infinite wisdom, said, hmm, I'm going to do a um, dark side. I'm going to invade all the multiverses. This nigga started from Turbo, go all the way up to the latest edition. Now, you want to know the only way they beat this nigga? They resurrected Jason from the dead. Like the heaven that poor Ranger's saying, they said, hey, you're the only one who can beat him. And he still got his ass whooped. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, my God. It got, yo, it got so bad. They tried to jump this nigga with a full-on team, and he mollywhopped them without even trying. There is one thing that I don't like about him, though, and he has this... um. As soon as yo any advantage is taken from him, he becomes a complete bitch. That is one thing I can't stand with him. He's a type of villain that only when he has all his powers at his disposal, that's when he's dangerous. Take it away, complete bitch. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's well, I guess I that. Well, understand this. May I forgive him and respect the same way? Yeah, yes, he yeah. does act like a bitch. Well, Anna? Yes, he does act like a bitch, but he's a strategic bitch. True. So, yes. He rants and raves like a little whore. Fine. What? Plus he's a mani- plus he's a mani- manipulative yeah. shit. That's how he got that's how he got Sawa's powers. By the way, the reason why he got the White Ranger's powers is that Zordon, before he died, activated the White Ranger power that he was going to give to Jason. This was the ace in the hole to get rid of the Green Ranger at the time. Uh, Tommy next. invaded. <laughs> Tommy invaded. And he invaded, he destroyed Zordon. Zordon activated Saba before he destroyed it. Um, yo, but you Saba know, yo, you know, but you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the power coin, one of the most powerful thing in our Power Rangers universe. Yeah. This man used the power coin, merged it mm. all into one singular morph and said, hmm, I need a cool helmet to go with this shit. Pause oh, a second. Didn't 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 um didn't the actual didn't they make a movie for this? They, they were they were supposed to, but I'm not sure why it never went into full production. Oh I, God, why I, didn't I, they though? I, no, I think I know the reason. I think the whole mind mind fuck thing that he did with Kim Brady was like, nah, we can't hear this shit for kids, none thought. But you know what them should have do though? They should have put it rated R. No, better yes. yes. They should have put it. They should have put it. If you love Power Rangers and you don't want to be upset, watch at your own discretion. That's what they no should man, have put. No man, rated R for once. Make Power Ranger what it should have been. And I, I won't lie, as I started to grow up and realize it, this is just the same routine over and over and over. At some point, at some point, at some point, we wanted to see death. At some point, we want that's why that's why Last Fucking Galaxy is one of the best blood clap power in Jamu um series that, ever. I, I mean, why? To, I mean, to be, I mean, to be fair, envelope. I mean, to be fair, I mean, Time Force, what the first, the first, what the first episode of Time Force, the Red Ranger is fighting the main villain, and this nigga gets murked immediately. I was like, tell me more, <laughs> yo, well, Anna. Time, remember, time for us are after Last Galaxy, so... But you know what I'm yeah. saying? Sitting there, talking, about, the you know, saying, talking about that, though, Bradshaw. Me just have made something, you know. Rancic remains to this day the only villain that never got beat. He never Wait, got huh? beaten. No, in the final fight, he mm-hmm. whooped everyone's ass and the man who... He willingly got arrested. Because he <laughs> was used the battleizer. So like for example, so for example, he, he pulled a he pulled a Goldie Roger. No, the man, no, no, what, no, as in no, legitimate like if you legitimately go back to that episode and watch it, you can mm. see your Rancic was extra powerful. Like the man, yo, the man that yo, the man kick yo, the man kick the Blue Ranger, the man demorph instantly. I'm like, damn. Okay. I so mean, by at the first, when way, West are you tra- when West did the the battle as a West did a game that work, but then Rancic just decided to say, oh, yeah, man, I say, I'm going to bust my best Vegeta self-sacrifice. Blew him up. I'm Damn. like, this nigga got that dog in him. 
Of course he does. And people make her understand and something. Then, and then, the only way that they stopped him, the man daughter said, yo, it, you don't have to hate you. And the man said, ah, cool, arrest me. I'm like, this nigga goes down in history as being the only villain never to be beaten. Will he live? Give him a bumbo clock, roses. I'm tell you this much. Yo, i be honest with you. Power Ranger is by far one of the best franchises outside of Japan. Japan to this very day is still making Power Ranger bomb club. You know, you know, for, you know, funny enough, Bracha, all of what we are talking about now, how, how we want Power Ranger to be more adult like. But man, the Japanese versions, yo, I think at the Dino Thunder one, I was going to take into consideration. But man, yo, the white, yo, the white Ranger in that, the man just dark. Because the man are basically like, I think he's half half alien and half, and the man get the white Ranger paws. Cool. But it's like, it's solely a kill him at the same time. And he's a scientist. Mm-hmm. So the Red Ranger did I run off him with and say, yo, why don't why don't you fight for good? And the man say, Why should I fight for something that I'm not good at? Me say, Pum Clot. The man on at least the man on his side. I can man, with honesty. And then the and then the, the main villain I try to recruit the man now. The man I say, You need to learn how to be a villain before you can even speak to me like that. I'm like, Pum. The man badness turn off. The man is a real bad man. Do you understand? The man is not an imitation. man a real yo. bad man. Yo. Not yo. It, 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 yo, it gets so bad. The main villain has said, yo, nothing oh, I man. do can take out this brother. Cool? Ka, yo, mm-hmm. all right. I think, all right, I think remember my name, Abba Ranger. Ka, no, wow. the re- no, the Rangers are called Abba Ranger. This man mm-hmm. say, yo, I'm not no damn Ranger. I'm an Abba, Abba Killer. That's how the man called himself. I'm a, I'm a killer. The man said, yo, I kill Power Rangers. I said, pussy class. Bad name. So, when the SPD Rangers, they come through a wormhole, I say, yo, they come to arrest the man. The man said, arrest me? Are you sure you came to arrest me or did you come to die? I'm like, wow. wow. Them kind of badness. It gets, yo, it gets so bad. Even sh- the, Shadow, the Shadow Ranger found, got his ass whooped. The man yep. said, oh, I've never seen anything like this. What so, is no, no. he? Well, no, there's a series in Japan, right? Yeah. That, like, all, all, of, the, all of the Rangers, them, they unite. I mean, Mask Rider, I mean, all of the Senkai, them. Yeah, so, man. The Mask Rider, um, be, be Big Bad Beetle Boys, all of them unite. I'm like, what? The? I, mean, I remember, so, oh, yeah, this, this is Japan. Yeah. And if, no, so, and the thing about it, it's like the Sentai version. Them, right? Give you like quality storytelling. Give you love, love stories. Give you yeah. interesting story. Yo, the Rangers actually got to the point where yo, yes, they are still the heroes you want to be. What the tough decisions they made? say yo, people are dead. At one point, I think the um SPD version of um sitting the jack. The man mm-hmm. when I fight one losing battle, and the man decides say all right about no yo, I'm no hero. I'm a ranger first. The man, the whole time the battle is when I debate a problem for him. The man you sure share force of will. Open the battle is every villain will come across. The man kill them with an instant. Whole life he made them start judging man. And the man say, You motherfuckers were on the verge of dying, and I was supposed to allow that to happen. So, okay. so right, so right then and then so the man say, you know what is true? I give up being a ranger. The man dash the man dash with the mouth and say, Oh fuck, who no? Man said, "We're not ready for come and be, be a real hero. You can't call me again." And I'm like, right. and I'm like, why did we not get this shit in the Americanized version? And then I remember, oh yeah, because America can't have real storytelling like because we kids are going to be like, hmm, what's that? <coughs> but I'm like, if we did it in Lost Galaxy, did it in Time Force. Hell, even Lightspeed Rescue. Lightspeed Rescue was about fighting oh, demons, for God's sake. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. You know, say, them, they, made, they made go after Time Force, though, right? People never know that. Like, Last Galaxy, they went um, they went after Last Galaxy first because they were like, oh, this is really edgy. This is a kid's show. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the whole uh, point. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, do you uh, hear what the... Uh, what uh, I, love, yeah. whenever I show death, Last Galaxy had all of this rotating all at once. No, but hold on, hold on. All right, we're not even going that far. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. First, all right, first, 
heart, heartbreak, the first heartbreak of the entire series. We all thought Tam Tammy and Kimberly was endgame. This girl end up finding a man in Australia of all places. Yo, I found it so hilarious that of all places these assholes had to mention, Australia. Wow. I know, right? You're not even had the dignity for, for broke up the, broke up with the man face to face. You broke up with the man over a letter. That alone made me know say, okay, some off screen issues are going on with them people. I'm not even want to go into that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Left that alone. We had the and yeah, yet you know, Walana, you know, Walana, sorry for cut you. And yet when the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie came out, the the, the, the latest version one where the guy was a black ranger. <laughs> All of a sudden, yes. Olano, Olano, Olano. so the theory that we had all those years ago was actually right. Zach and Trini were banging, but nobody wanted to acknowledge that shit. Hmm. All of a sudden, now they have a kid. Hmm. <laughs> but I do find it hilarious, though, that they tried to tie in that shit where Rita killed Trini. I mean, it makes sense, but hmm. it kind of convoluted because, you know, no, you know. No, technically, it wasn't Rita, but. Because Rita is dead. Yeah. So I that's mean, why. I mean, and for I, those people who did not know why she had on that mask thing, it wasn't because because it wasn't the real Rita. She's dead. She died. She passed away before they they tried. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't you go oh, for that? Oh, that you passed away. Remember saying now, uh, four angels in space. Remember saying all of the evil evil villains turn turn good. So oh, yes. they basically right. All right. Let's put oh. it like. Let's put it that it's someone who is pretending to be Rita. Cool? Yes. Let's put it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I get it. All of her yeah. anger, all of her malice, all of her hatred. But I find, you, know what, you know what I find, it, find it interesting? I find it interesting that Rita is back, but Zed hasn't. That shit would have brought, brought, brought me to the edge of my seat, because I'm like, Rita is here and no Zed. Zed hey, hates... Last time I checked, Zed hates the Power Rangers just as much, because... Did this motherfucker not try to kill these niggas how many times? And they thwarted this plans how many times? Nah. And him oh. switch and, 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 and him switch shoes just to kill them still. Oh yeah, the late war in a dino fury. <laughs> there you go. What? The man switch shoes just to kill them. And if what that ain't hate, then I don't know what is. Yo, skull, yo, skull, yo, skull say, yo, this man came back from the dead for from pure anger alone. I'm like. That's some yeah, serious yeah. commitment right there. Yo, them man, they don't want us enemy. The man say, yo, I want all Power Rangers dead, no matter what yep. timeline. I'm like, yep. He, damn. And he, meant, he meant that shit. Oh, he meant that shit. But then, but then, then get rid of him. And I'm like, why? He was the best because, thing in the show. Yeah, but for right for, but for, right for Zed, it's kind of hard. First off, Zed is not oh. a weak one. Well, well, yeah, but, no. but then I, yeah, but then again, Bracha, I mean, it's not as if the Dino Fury Rangers were like anything special. I mean, these niggas are getting molly almost every episode. So, that's I mean, why, Zed, so that's why adding in Zed would make no sense. Cause they well, were, they well, weren't well, doing well, all that too, cause you would have one X rancid for your hands. Well, villain would then can't beat. Can't touch, really. Zed okay. man, we all, all know that. this. I mean, if, if if the two greatest Power Rangers in history when I struggle with this man back in the day, I can imagine a powered up Zed that's just feeding off anger alone. Urgh, damn. Yeah. I can't imagine what. I, I can't imagine, I can that imagine Zed. two. I can't imagine that Zed. Oh my God. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. But you know, but you know, but you know, but you know, so someone say, oh, Dino Fury, if, Dino Fury for a flat. It would have been the perfect time for Jace to come back right there, so. Yes. Because, because remember, all right, remember, yes. remember, Sefi, his sword is what? A Tyrannosaurus. Yes. And we've, and seen, does... and we've seen many times that they might have, oh, the power is gone, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, we saw Adam in what? Operation Overdrive. This nigga got back his power coin. How? Never explained. But he still turned into a black po Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, did he not? Yes, he did. Yo, not yo, nothing more than the Morphin Grid is a big troll. And I won't stop saying it. The Morphin Grid picks and chooses whose powers it wants to give back at what time. But power gone, my ass. Well on, but wasn't it wasn't the expression once a ranger, always a ranger? Yo, yeah, that's the thing, but then all right. 
the thing that has always pissed me off about it is like almost every like every season when the Power Rangers are finished, the Power Rangers are magically gone. But then it magically comes back when a team up needs to happen. I'm like, you motherfuckers think you're slick? Yeah, they need to sell toys. I mean, don't get me wrong, the team ups are cool and shit. I mean, Ninja Storm and Dinathan are Ninja Ninja Storm and Dinathan are remains the best Power Rangers team up bar none for me, for me personally. Okay, there you go. By the way, Power Rangers is running out of creative shit. Now I'm, we have Power Rangers um spin, Ninja I'm, Spin, I'm, Ninja Star. I mean, Ninja, Ninja Star. Racha, Racha. Come on, run out of shit for one bar. Racha, one bar. Racha, no, Racha. No. if the Sentai take a break, the, of course the man will run out of shit. Come on, was but Sentai they lose X man. Sentai, yo, and by the way. Japan have more creative life, um, freedom than America. So, we can't even put them in the same bracket. Well, because that's too, because, the because the Japanese, the Japanese, that, Japanese the audience, audience, can move you out of them Japanese can't make it audience isn't here. a bunch of sheep. That's one thing. They're not a bunch of sheep. They actually know how to think for themselves. True. Sure. Like, for example, they made, Japan made an, an, adapt, an adaptation of, wait a again, um, Death Note. And I loved it. America. I mean, it, it, I mean, it had it had it, its little clunky moments, you know. But you know, again, again given at its time. But, but you know, we're not, we're not funny enough. They made like so much more rootless. Yo, I was watching. I was watching the whole thing, right? And I was just okay. like, I was just like, this motherfucker actually murdered his girlfriend and pretended to care. I'm like, nigga, you are cold. Man has Batman. a god complex. Yo, what the hell do you expect? Yo, it got so bad. Even Ryuka said, did you not even care about her at all? Complete there you go. utter silence. There I'm you like, go. nigga, you are cold. Man's a beast. Monster even. I mean, I tell you. When, when, man, I tell like, someone like watch the anime version. You see, the man say, yo, we might explain to the Reaper about when he went to Earth. I'm saying he met, to a, met a, a human with a God complex. And at the time, he pretty much, he was the best person to play God. And then everybody was in an uproar. Oh, you can't say that. He was killing, you know, he was killing people just because they were getting like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Real talk. Like, like be real here, people. If you had the power by writing the name of any person on the planet's name in and closing that book and they die, and you can write how they die. And specify the time of death. Time of death if you want to. And what they how? do before that death. I and mean, yes. You can, hey, you can, you can I, make them I, have a, a nice I have, dinner. I have, I have Should you get them no, well, I, know, I have admitted yes. I probably would have done what Light did, but to make to make it corrupt me to the point where I start believing that I'm above it all. Nah, fam. No, 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 fam. That, 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 that's where he went wrong. Yes, I guess I guess I'm going wrong. Even I knew I was like, whoa, sway. Well, I, I mean, I was rocking with you for a good until you start. Yeah, well, I know, well, I know. You see when no, you see when he, he, he all right, you know the anime. You see when he was just like. Getting rid of the petty criminals, I know him just yeah. did it. I go on. I was like, you know, it's still kind of wrong, but you know, I'm still going. But then I was fight. I was I was with him, you know. And then he was getting rid of rapists and, and molesters and all man. Well, I know. Then Freak. the man kill. Then the man kill raping bro. And I'm like, this motherfucker just killed an innocent man. And yeah. then the man kill raping my fiance. And I'm like, okay, it's a wrap. That, 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 no, he's a sociopath, not psycho. You know what the man said? The following episode, if my if my people find out, I might have to kill them too. Even Ryuk was like, what the fuck? What? The man said, I'm going to yeah. write your name in my death note. <laughs> Yo, he even, he even asked, even asked the Shinagami if, if, if he wrote his name in there, what would happen? He said nothing. You're just going to die in between heaven and hell. And that's a face, fate worse than death. And he really yeah. did that. Batman, yo, the symbolism of Death Note is the greatest thing. Called. When light died, where did he die? In between the light and the shadows of the stairs. 
Oh my god. Yo, that Yo. ending was one of the most beautiful endings beautiful ever. Ending. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, like, when we say Rook was um, in finals, well, it was good while it lasted. I'm seeing opening death now that I'm taking pen, and I'm like, Yep. What the? I mean, he, he's been saying that he's going to, he's been telling us almost every episode there. Yeah. Yo, so I'm going to kill him. light. He's going to man take say, light soon. Man, man say, yo, I'm going to have time for you to wait till you get put in a prison and all of that detention bullshit, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm going to kill you right here, right now. And then in that um, little light novel movie where they make your final say, yo, real, uh, Shinigami eyes get take away. And the Shinigami King. Why? Right. Yeah? Because, Why? because I'm sitting there. They, remember I said only one death note is supposed to be in the human world at one time. Remember I said, remember I said Ryu, the thief too. Remember I said you need to have film on plus the other one. When you did get like a thief in thief from the Shinigami King. Shinigami King find out and the man said, you know what? I'm going to let this play oh. out for a while. Then but I'm going to know Salaiti, he tricked the girl into giving her his um her um her yeah, but the death yeah, but the film death note that uh, what it fall in yeah because uh, sitting there the shinigami them did the shinigami where i said hold on i thought i saw real quick two notebooks and i'm like huh two notebooks and then he click and said oh he forgot teeth the other one <laughs> yeah but hold on i said when him hold on from the book what well, like like a rook teeth that book there Mm-hmm. The other, the death note who belongs to, I mean, did or how the reaper never appeared no. to him and murdered no, him? No, because they belong to the shit. Remember, I say, in the Shinigami, remember, I say, the Shinigami King Bully not even give a shit about nothing at the time, you know. And he probably went just look for me and say, wait, my book is missing and people keep on dying. I'm, I'm, in Gulli, no, say, oh, real got that type of person who just do things for him. And he's like, you know what? I know, I'm going to let this play out. Just to see how, how far it will go. Yeah, man. Then when the man realizes, say, oh, you get to the point, say, oh, got a new world and all this bullshit. The man say, oh, all right, Ryuk, your punishment is I'm going to take your Shinigami eyes. Mm. So Ryuk is basically blind in the Shinigami world now. God damn. But, I mean, Light did get his one dream, though, in that Light Novel movie. He came back as a Shinigami. He did. I mean, I mean it's a theory that it's Light... Because, but the th- thing what give, give it away for me is the limp, because you know you still have the limp from when he get shot, and mm-hmm. the way he talk, and then you have the goggles and the little red hair, you know, and, you know, light I always have that little red hair there. So mm-hmm. she didn't come real basically. I tell the man about um the human that tried to become a god of the new world, and before the man end the story, the she got me gone, and I say, huh. So it's been a while. Good to see you again, light, and I'm like, oh. But some people say, oh, I'm just said that just for nostalgia sake, but may I have a feeling say I like. I have a feeling say I like. Probably. Probably, probably not. When I was like, re-watching it, I kind of look back on it and I'm like, huh, you know, Nier got a lot of hate for nothing at all. Hmm. I know, right? I mean, I me. still, I mean, I still not like him. I mean, the whole way when he kept, kept when, when get the notebook where, yo, my man just stayed up all night, just a, write, just a rewrite names and I didn't know that. I'm like, is that even humanly possible? I mean, even for Batman, that seems a bit strenuous. A lot, of, and I mean, my man, it's, it's not just names alone. Am I right? How them are dead too? So, so it's just in them right name. Man, it's a swoosh. Man, and then, the man, the and then you can't say, oh, I fool the man, follow out the notebook, and I like just one and two pages. I fool the man, then follow out the notebook. Out. Kill, I kill so that. So, so that, so that part, it kind of iffy, but I'm like, ugh, I mean, if light was going to die, I mean, it had to be some bullshit way anyway. And plus, the man literally gave himself in at the bombard facility. Man literally bought out and said, yes, I am Kira, the god of a new world. Are you really going to kill me after all I've done for you? I'm like, nigga, you've been killing innocent people for the last, what, five years? You killed your own father. You're just, a, you're just a mad, you're just a fucking madman. You, a young start, man's body. you started out with sense and then you became nonsense. Exactly. You did. You did the opposite of what Lelouch did. Lelouch did it right. You g- goddamn bastard. By the way, I think let me forget back um that 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 whole anime series with Lelouch. Let me for revisit it. 
I make a different fucking one. The Lucian for those God so as one of the greatest. I mean, he is one of the greatest, but God damn it. <laughs> I'm miss, I miss the fucking storytelling. I mean, Salute to the blood clad I mean, general. I mean, Yo, I mean, I'm not telling lies. Hold on, I'm going to finish my point. Hold on, I was never a mech fan, but watching that fucking anime turned me into a mech fan. Never like mech text. Like, after, I mean, after much Gundam, watch one Gundam, watch like every fucking one. He got really fu- But then when that man started to politic, I was like, damn. Strategic asshole. No way my do. And then the twist, when they find us, and father have two of the fucking items. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? I need more. Oh my God. Yo, they need to do something else with that fucking anime. They not for me that shit does stuff. I mean, as, mo- as much as, as, never want, want, as much as I didn't want him to die, even though he did fear his death, but I mean, mm-hmm. man, accomplishing goal, man, make him sister have a peaceful life, no, man, unite the two nations, them. I mean, the man. He did die in the last part, you know that, right? Yeah, but I mean, he did he still fake his death. <laughs> oh, but he had to do it to make to make the plan work. And I mean, look on it this way. That was the only thing he had to do. He had to sacrifice himself. Yep. Pretty much like all such, such man for a solo level, he didn't have to do the same damn thing. These niggas are sacrificing their lives. Damn. Yeah. And I mean, I, I love the fact that Lelouch pushed, pushed past his shortcomings. He figured how to use what he had to his advantage. Yep. And intellect is a beautiful thing. I don't know why people make it seem like being smart is so fucking negative. I mean, being smart, fucking very, very. I mean, I don't know why why that's even looked down upon. I mean, they, uh, yeah. didn't we just watch an entire three D chess battle between Light Yagami and 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 uh, such man? Big man, let me tell you something about bother me about society. We are shunned up. We we as we as as men of of knowledge, right? We are looked down upon. If I was acting like a, a beer chugging, disrespectful little whistle after every tail kind of man, people would like me more. Hmm. I, 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 I talk too much about knowledge and improving on bad situations and accountability. People don't like hear that shit. So again, when Curly Locks, he say, yo, if him was ever run Jamaica, they would have to kill him. You understand why? You understand full heartedly. And it's not just because, you know, me are fond or anything. Yep. I see how mankind behave. Mankind don't want to be corrected. We're talking to a, I'm a, a man of what, 35? There's men my age and older still acting like they're teenagers. Still talking like they're teenagers. Still behaving like they're fucking teenagers. And I'm 35. Can you imagine men 40, 38, 39? I've met a, I've met a, an adult male child while working at the store I've been working for years. And I can't say that shit out loud, but eh, it's already been said. Yeah. But again, let me say. This is this is a problem. This is a problem where nobody don't want knowledge. And if you do speak up, I'm say, come in here and me being this forthcoming and not afraid to speak my mind. People look at me weird and I'm like, what? Hmm. You're not used to men being men. I never know. Say I was in a, a, a gynocentric society. I thought men and women were the same up here. No, they're not. So again. Again, knowledge is not a bad thing, but I'm working amongst two disadvantages. I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who take offense, but women are not the best at taking information, especially when they reach a certain age. I work with a lot of grown women, and when they reach a certain age, they believe, like a lot of men, just like men, they believe them too old, they are telling from you. Interesting. You're born, yes, and, and, and this is the naivete. 
that 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 screams that um, um, really pissed me off. Just because you're older than me does not mean shit. We are human beings. We are creatures of habit. When you push back against common sense, that's your that's your ego fighting the words. Especially when you know what I'm saying is not wrong. So you have people that know what you're saying is correct because they've experienced what you've said. They've experienced what you've said. But then they just don't want to admit it because in their minds, it makes you look smart and them look dumb. So they, they're willing to put instead, it. Instead of looking at it as... Oh, I'm learning. Hmm. Problem. It truly is one of the most unfortunate things about this life. Don't look at it okay. as learning. You're looking at it as he's better than me or she's better than me. People, people, and Jamaicans think about this, right? And for everybody else, doesn't just come from first. But this is for everybody in your life, right? Pick five people. Question all five of them on one topic and listen to how each person thinks. Listen. Don't say anything. Make the topic broad enough that they can exploit to their liking. The person is too short. That means they're day to day luck you know, the mental capacity to think. First red flag. You ask another person. Them draw them foot. Them drag out the, what am I trying to say? Them don't understand, say, they can use certain words to just get through and get to the point. What I'm talking about is the person who needs to go into excessive detail kind of person. You understand me? That's a red flag. Because you're supposed to be smart enough that you don't need every single teeny tiny detail to make a decision. You're not a child. I'm all about accountability, people. I will never stop being about accountability. But coming know at some point in life, I have to I have to give accountability for my life to the, the, the great one, the Almighty. One day, you know, I don't know how soon. But one day it will happen. And I need to be able to can tell him, say, yes, I did fuck up there, there, and there. I admit it. And I'll take whatever punishment that comes along with it because Mano say what? I did it. Manu, I'm not going to be a bitch and turn around and go, she made me do it. I didn't want to do it, you know? That's why. I'm not going to be that kind of person. That's to me a bitch. And quite frankly, I rather live my life knowing so I lived it the best way I possibly can. To my, in the words of Frank Sinatra, I did it my way, baby, and I'm going to die that way. I did it my way. And if a person have a problem with that, well, well, that's you. I'm not even going to cuss. For what? Makes sense, too. Lose what? Get upset over what? Hey, who? What the fuck? How the hell does you impact my life to the point that I'm going to waste my energy to be upset about something that you said. How do you impact my life again? <laughs> no, 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 none. Not a little, not, not even a little bit. Then who the fuck cares? There you go. Then who the fuck really cares here? You are the person. If you don't impact my life in any shape or form for the better, in any way, why the fuck do I care what you think? Why the fuck should I care? I wish we shouldn't. Ah, what am I? Ah, past midnight. Yeah. Let us fuck. 
It's been a while since we've hit the th- or close to two hour thirty five minute mark. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's very usual, Bradshaw. It has always been a pleasure. I believe I need yeah, to yeah. upload the other video. I think. Shit, just remember to have three clips that we have from the other week that we did record. And if you even missed one, so it'd have been four. So yeah. Ah. yeah recording equipment. I think the I think I had well, I think I did clicked off, I believe. Mm. But should be able I to read, oh, by the way, um I need to look up a ghostwriter because I realized that certain parts of the book that I that I told you I was going to write. And yes, mm-hmm. people, I really did mean the fuck what I said. I'm going to figure this part out. This part is kind of missing X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. I, I need, I need, I know how to formulate the, the, the structure of the book so far. I just need somebody to help me fill in most of the, you know, the essential writing. So at some point I might be on Fiverr looking for someone. If anybody knows any, anybody or any, uh, you know, company that can assist, Hey, let me know. You know, hit me up in the comments or so forth. I and for those of you who do want the book, I will let you know as soon as it comes close to you know finishing. Because I do want to help people. Quite frankly, I'm not saying you're going to always get the you know the love of your life, but look at it this way: you will you will be more aware of what you will not tolerate, especially when you're dealing with people. Not not children, people. And you learn from that book very quickly if you're dealing with an adult or a fucking child. Oh, I yep. guarantee you. Oh, I guarantee you. By the time you finish read, you're supposed to know say this is a man me attack to, and this is a quality woman me attack to Rasta. You understand me? Yep. This is the goal of, of, of it all. What's the point of having it all? And lose your fucking soul. But me keep asking people. This is why I said this whole notion, but you can have it all is a fucking lie. The Bible warned about that. And for those of you who are not that re- religious, well, so be it. But I'm talking from my personal belief system. The Bible states, what's the use of gaining the world and losing your soul in the process? Stop moving for ask people. What's the point? What do you gain from it all? Hmm? Misery, money, trips, trusting maybe, no one. Maybe you just think you should life. just be unhappy for the rest of your life. Yes. Die a sad death. Be rich, but die a sad death. And again, I repeat to people. <laughs> look on, look on, Robin Williams. Yeah, honestly. Hmm? Not on the agenda for me, honestly. I'd rather know that I fought to get to that point of love, mm-hmm. fail, than to just hmm. never yeah. have tried. I'm not just in the towel. You know, there's a lot of yeah. things we can take from media and life. Mm-hmm. We can look at it from one perspective. Sure, fantasy worlds are not real. And it isn't by any stretch of the imagination. A given it's going to end up like that. But this is why that genre makes so much money. Because we can always think about something that we would do. And if you can find someone that can articulate your thought process. Because believe it or not, human beings are more alike than we are different. I don't know why society tricks so many adults into thinking that we are so different. No, we're not. We're more alike than you think we are. You understand me? Mm-hmm. This is why we like the same shit. That's why kids from across the world like Dragon Ball Z. Because we all like the same shit. Believe it or not. And I'm from Jamaica. And we, are, we all know a DBZ fan somewhere in the world. Yep. So again, we're not all that different people. So again... I want to reach a state, a state of mind where we don't look upon people as objects. You understand me? Today, my friend of mine was talking about this girl who is, who is thinking about saving. 
and the girl I tried in incite him into a quote unquote friendly relationship. But in order for the relationship to work, he has to give her money. <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah. She really thinks I'm going to give her money. I'm like, good man. And he sent me a text message. I might send it, I might drop it in another in another group chat. If you get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> I told the dude that yo, that girl's a living prostitute. She's a living prostitute. I'm sorry. And I know that's all real bad, but if you so, have if money has to exchange hands for you to just interact or be in the present with me, huge red flag. Huge red flag. So before we even go anywhere, I have to be putting money in your hand just for you to be in that moment. Hell no. And I know you're probably like, oh, that's not prostitution. She's looking for a trick or she's a sugar daddy. If I, before you do anything, even if it's non-sexual, if I have to pay you first, it's a form of prostitution. I'm paying for your services, you dumbass. Yeah. I may, I, may not be, I may not be fucking you, but I'm paying for your services. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, people need to like read in between the lines. I know you don't want to, but you know, you should. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the program there. And let us leave you with some positive reinforcement. People, the world is a very short time space. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, so please love one another, care for one another, and you see all this petty family bullshit, end it. All right? Like, if you really want to move on in your life, like, Understand, say, if you've had bad things happen between your family members, but understand this. Let that shit go, because if those people drop out the next day and you don't say what you wanted to say to them, then that shit yep. will eat you alive. Yep. Good. So, love one another, drink some water, OJ, work out, go work, make your money, do whatever your mind tells you that you must do to be better for yourself. Yep. Come to we are reaching the climax. A lot of us are moving up in age. We're getting closer to that 30 mark, myself included. I'm moving close to the 40 mark, myself, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he, he said yes. while well, saying sarcastically and trying not to sound as if he's in pain. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, I'm 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 mid 35 now. I'm uh, I'm midlife now. Shoot, most men don't live to see 70. No idea. So, shoot, we're closer to midlife than I think I am. I mean, a lot, I mean, a lot of men your, your age would have probably start go through them so, so called midlife crisis by now, and you're still kicking that saying as ever. So, thank you very much. Well, it's good, it's good to have, it's good, it's good to have a strong base. What the hell? Anyways, yeah, and have a positive outlook. I mean, yep. it's, I mean, don't get it twisted, you know. I've been burnt by society like everybody else, but at the same time, you have you to have... Can't, yeah, just continue and say I blame society for the wrongs they did. Bro, if I blamed life for everything that had happened to me, I, I honestly wouldn't be where I am at this point in time where I just said, I just don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, and I, and I respect that because there are people who who hate the world so much, but never try nothing yet. I mean, I've lost weight twice, and I know what it feels like to be filled with confidence, vigor, and you feel you can conquer the world. Being fat is not fun. <laughs> but the point is, I'm not, I'm not the type to sit here and complain. Ooh, I blame you for me being fat. No, oh, bitch, I blame me for being fat. <laughs> I know I'm fat. I, I, I'm not. I'm not shrouded in the world of delusion like some people, you know. Yeah. And, and 
The thing then, is, some we have some people that want to say, yo, you're fat. All right, let's put it this way. Lots of men have guts. It's not yeah. fat. No, most men have guts. If you put them into a powerlifting competition, you would be surprised by the amount of shit that they can lift. And I know for a fact, if I put Bracha in a competition right now, this man mm. is going to prove the beast he is. Yeah. Yeah. And funny um, enough, funny enough, yeah. fictional mm. or reality, the strongest men on the planet generally have what? Beer guts. That's, yeah, that's, that's fair point. They don't point. have no goddamn six facts because last time I checked, do you know mm -hmm. how hard it is to maintain that shit? Good yeah, brief. not for a while. No, it's impossible, people. And let this be known. A lot of a lot of the models and action heroes for certain scenes, you see, in order to have that that super ripped look, they're depleted of water. Bro, the 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 the, the diets they have that? to go through. It is this this is out of sheer love. You're being lied to. <laughs> Men too, you're being lied to. The amount of the, the diet that you have to stick to just to look apart. Fam, I tell one of my female friends in Bracha, I tell her, I say, yo, if mm. I got picked for a movie part and them are telling me, say, yo, me have to eat this for look like this, I'm going to tell them, say, shove them money up them ass. People, do you know how terrible broccoli tastes? <laughs> well, anywho. But the fact <laughs> that I Yo, we're not even going to that farm. I'm just saying. <laughs> not only does it taste bad, it smells bad. So, again, moving forward. And right? only, a, only a select few of people, my mother included, knows how to cook that shit where it is edible. There you go. Well, up here's a different still, but more people, more, more people up here learn how to cook that shit. Uh, you yeah, know. because them ingrained it in our society in, in, in America, like say, yo, that shit yeah. needs to be a side American dish. Yo, and, have, a, and have the, and half the time, half the time, a, they still, a, they, half the time, they still have put the little sauce on it just to make yeah. sure say, yo, it don't look too bad. And it tastes too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, I don't eat. And where where, where this thing is, when I eat, when I eat, when I'm gonna put on the Carolyn's like. Are you just gonna eat it like that? I'm like, Ooh, yes. Yeah. You because, sure? Because putting what? additives on the vegetable takes away from the vegetable. No, but the point I'm trying to make is she couldn't. I couldn't fathom the idea of me just, you know, eating it like that. Like, I, yo, oh, I know, yeah. yo, I know some people right now. If you come to cut up lettuce, get them. Somehow, some way, then we're gonna find some way to add some salt for the other one. Oh, they're giving it flavor. I'm like, no, you dumb duck, you're giving it salt. The thing has <laughs> water in it, you duck. It's supposed to be eaten like this. <coughs> like, what? Like, I understand. Like, I understand. I, I've seen lettuce sometimes, it doesn't look appetizing, but. You don't you seem edible. You you try going into that bathroom being unable to shit. And I guarantee you, you will eat that lettuce till tomorrow. Sir, I accidentally had a had a salad. Yeah. And you know, the Lord woke me up the next morning. <laughs> he did. He did wake me up. Right. Um, right. For the last three weeks, I had a reoccurring flu. Cold? The flu has finally subsided. I still have a little cold in my nose, but you know, that's neither here nor there. This mm -hmm. morning, oh, oh my nose, I'm return to normal. This morning, I think 7 15 under that when I wake up, my belly started grumbling, and I decided, hey, I'm not going to be eating this early. They know what my body did. My body said, all right, bitch, you think you're tough? Yeah, man. Send everything down into the stomach and start grumbling even more. And then bathroom start call. Yeah, man. Let go everything. By the way, people, that's always a good thing. When you wake up and you, you feel like you need to take a dump, that's a good sign that your body's functioning. Yep. Understand me? So 
eat, and, and, and this is going to be a part of, how do I hear, I'm going to hate this, but uh, my last meal is going to be the lightest and it's going to be the greenest, unfortunately. Ah. <sighs> And I say that, and I say that, and that's of a ticky on the chin. You know, you know, fu- you know. Funny enough, I've realized since I've been coming. Well, the left mm-hmm. work seven thirty. Me reach home about eight, mm-hmm. eight o'clock or eight thirty. Them time, time about. Me realize I'm coming at evening time and I, that time, and I'm not as hungry as I used to be. Like, my mm-hmm. ge- like my generally can just like have a one and two, like one snack, probably like so like a guava biscuit. Drink some water. Go to bed. Do you want to know something weird? One day, well, last week, I had to go and get my medicals done, right? Mm-hmm. The first medical from I've been in America. Um, so, yeah, I know it sounds bad because I've been for almost five years. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least I finally did it, right? So, oh, yeah, by the way, your boy is, your boy is healthy. For the well, most part. I, mean, I, need to I, w- I would be surprised if you weren't. Nah, I'm healthy. Yeah, well, I feel I'm like just saying, I'd be surprised if you weren't there, because I'm like, there's no way this man is working out all those times, and yeah, despite the little cheat food, then we might eat time to time. I, I, I'd be surprised if you said, ah, oh, shit, your boy has something wrong. No, I'm good. I'm, I need to lose a few pounds, though. I get that, but... Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I mean, that, I'm good. That's, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean I have a... The thing that's of... going for you, Bracha, is that you have the intellect and your mind, once you put your mind to it, it all get done. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. And and I acknowledge that, right? So I look upon people and said this. I hope, I hope that we reach up a, a, a consensus in our own lives where we can say, yo. I've been trying for the last 10 years. I've been trying for the last 20 years. What am I doing wrong? And we can take a pen and a paper. I would just write out everything we end up doing wrong. Yep. Don't be afraid, people. And I, I know anybody who have the mindset say, me, me, me know we're wrong, me know we're wrong, me know we're wrong. And you don't put it on paper, you are failing yourself. People, you need to write it down. When it's important. Why? Because you need to be visually be able to see the mistakes on paper for say shit. But I made that mistake in the last three years. It looks similar to the one I make. And then you can say, oh shit. Me see what me keep. This is and what the real That's where you start to correct it. Just like how I can tell exactly. myself. Just like how I can tell myself. Say, every time I start a workout program, my mm-hmm. ass just commit to it and then I fall off. Then I start over all over again. Yes. I can tell myself all I want, say, yes, I'm going to correct that shit, but until I have the proper discipline to say, hey, one month, give yourself one month, discipline yep. yourself through one program, then you move on, then you continue, and then you will get the results you want. Before you move on, take note every week. Like, and I believe this people feel for understand. You see, the man who got to the gym with a notebook and the pen and people laugh at him, that's a man on a mission, baby. That's mm-hmm. a man on a mission. Think about this. Do you know how determined you have to be to make sure so every time you go to the gym, you have the pen and paper with you? You're, 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 you're counting how many reps uh, yep, you go uh, through? Yep, it's part of your regime. And if you miss something in a notebook, you have to make sure so once you leave, you say, oh, I got this. Put it My number is back. this. Now I've reached this. My number is this. For the last three weeks, I've been pushing through. Now I can do this. My weight, I've jumped from lifting 150 pounds. Now, since the last four weeks of, of, of overloading the fucking bar, I'm now comfortable can push in the bar from 175 as a starting weight now. You understand how big that is an improvement? You're yep. starting to jump from 150 to 175? That 25 pounds don't seem much to... To people, but that's a starting weight now. Right, no, 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 no,
since the year, even though your team never really performed to the standard you didn't want, what you do? Since year has been something short, not nothing short of remarkable. I'm say, what you mean? Man say, how many? Man say, how many prop forwards do you know turn into a playmaker for their team? And I'm like, um, none. none. Even more. None. Most of them are none. And man, man, man say, yo, most play, man say, most playmakers, even though you have, man say, That's even though. Up. Well, on the dark, you're a prop. Used to be. I mean, oh. we, go from, we go from prop to second row to 13. Oh. Hell, at one point, I found my ass playing center for these motherfuckers. Why you are going well, man? You are going well. From and prop to center, give up the, yourself. Yo. The, funny, the funniest thing, the man say, yo, doc, you don't have no PS. Mm -hmm. what, what he has is what? The intellect and mm -hmm. the ability for always time him past them properly. Then the man named tell me say, yo, Doc, we, we need somebody sensible to play playmaker. And I'm like, um, so why me? Man, they say, well, you have sense. Prop. Right. Second order and prop, then second order and prop, and then prop tell prop turn to tell me turn prime prop for pretty much. <laughs> quite frankly, quite frankly, I've I've played I've played fullback before, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't but, like. Brother, if there's two, if there's two like positions that I te me tell the man, I say you, you, you'll never live to see me play. Fullback and wing. Too oh much, God. too much work. Too much work. Too defensively. much pressure. Too much pressure. Too much, work, too much work defensively, and then me have too much to do in an attack because me have to in the line I attack, and then me have to finish. No. <laughs> Sir, I'm at the back of the field. What the hell are you talking about? Me the other people. I never run. Oh hell! Me say I would never play fullback again. Yo, me not tell her it sound cool on paper. Yes, I play the fullback position. Do I want to play the fullback? Hell Absolutely the fuck no. not. Hell the fuck no. Tell, Wait, te tell oh. me, say yo, you want fifty? You tell me, say you want fifty carries in any match from me at prop. Me say yes. I will give you. But tell me, say oh, Mister Doctor, I need you to organize. Me say nope. You're not get it from me. I will I, organize it. Hey, I rather stay in at the line and organize it. Me not stay back on nobody. I tell them. No. Yo, you know what? Yo, but I tell like yo, I feel away. I, 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 yo. At one point, I used to, I used to, I used to, I used to envy Sean Bedward because at the time he was a guy in charge of um Casey's um um prop. Well, pretty much um, the, the the whole team because he was a fullback. And I was like, yo, and I was like, yo, the one day, one day I took the court, so yo, people don't understand the stress what Sean have forgot through being full. I'm like, Sean is under stress. And then coach turned and looked at me and like, do you know what the what you're supposed to do as fullback? Mr. Well, catch a ball and run. Like, he's like, yeah, but not only that, you pretty much get a full view of the entire field. You are supposed to set the field as the game moves. And if, if after everything fails, you have to run. The fullback isn't supposed to move from the back, to be honest with you. This is why when he finally has to run, he has plotted his way through a long time. Because if he misses, he gets fucked. I'm like, oh my God. He didn't say fuck, but I, I get what he meant. Hey. Hey, oh. I, I would say. Hell no. All right. Between what? All right. Mm. Secondary playmaker, nine, and fullback as a no. nine. You yeah. they are. You they, they are. Yes, they, they are set rock. You they, they are yeah. telling the man them say, yo, who next to go for the ball? And then, all right. Because when I play a league, mm. I play as a seven, the Spanish mm -hmm. tournament time, when, when the man them did still have a team. Right, mm. I can tell you this. I have never. Spoken as much as I did, not even when I was playing prop second or right, 30 minutes, never, never talk so much. Come here, I tell you, I feel direct which part the set play for go. I feel direct which part me need my wing of a stay, how deep me need him to be. When we are defend, because everybody else are doing their own thing, I feel tell the man, I say, Oi, flat line, and then, on top, and then, on top, I don't know. We now play with a traditional fullback because full fullback decides that, oh, him want the inner the line. I wait till ball I kick over for running down. I said, bad man, let me tell you this. The next time you do that, we go kick you off of the field. And I you're agree. Supposed to, you're, you're supposed to be at the back. I take stress. 
This was yes. not fought for we. Can pull back. You have the you have the worst. You have the worst flipping job. Especially for defense. Because you look for all of the madness who are going in front of you. Oh my god, if a plot your course through the wall of that shit. There, there is oh, a reason why the man them say you are the what? Oh. Last line.